Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with more DLC update goodness and this time we are smash grabbing the hilarious excellent High on Life DLC called High on Knife. Now <laughs> this surprising bit of DLC will cost you around 16 buckaroonies but it is actually worth it, it's just as fun as the main game and of course with it being DLC it's considerably shorter too. So achievements and trophy wise, we've got the usual, you know, couple of miscellaneous achievements to do where you can't really miss it, but you sort of can. Get 100 kills with the new ball weapon, lol I know, balls. 50 kills with Harper's Glob Shot, that sounds sexier than it actually is, plus a few easier ones. Oh yeah, give me the Glob Shot. Uh, there is also the return of more collectibles in the terms of packages in three areas. So the outskirts have 15 to find, Duffalo Ranch has 21 and Muxalon HQ has 19 but we will be saving them for after the story has been beaten as you need Knifey's new upgrade to get 5 of them anyway. Uh, either way this is an awesome update and we will then wait patiently for High on Life 2 or something similar, A follow squanches. Now you're looking at around potentially 3.5 hours or so to complete this DLC so with that being said then and I'm sad to report there is no let's do it in this update but still. Let's do it! And we go down of course to High on Knife, you can put whatever you want, story mode, normal mode or hunter mode, we're going to go for a nice easy relaxation time. Um, now, <laughs> the terms of service is always uh, one hilarious read, so you can have a look at that if you want. Or we can just press A to accept the terms, accept it and be on our merry little way. We killed another evil alien guy. And it was actually kind of cool. This dude was like giant. Jeez, what took you so long? That was supposed to be an easy one. No, it was easy. It took like 15 minutes. We just stopped for burgers after and the line was really long. Aside from that, everything went smoothly. Yeah, nothing goes down smoother than the blood of a freshly cocked bouncy. No matter how much they beg for their life. I don't care. Oh yeah, he did beg for his life. A lot. That sort of thing doesn't really register with me anymore. Military training, you know. Dulled my empathy levels. Yeah. We're all very happy you're ignoring your traumas. Now go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. In other news, it's the two-year anniversary of the day a fearless human bounty hunter teamed up with a band of motley Gadlians to take down the entire G3 cartel. If you're not familiar with the story somehow, I can recap it for you. How was that bounty anyway? I feel like we haven't done anything really big and exciting since the G3. Except maybe that Colonel War, the time we had to blow up Evil Earth. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's just the same shit every time. Stab this, knife that. You know, I'm just... I think I'm depressed. I think the first time, the first adventure was better anyway. I don't know if we can top that. Ah, hey, knifey. That reminds me. Someone tried to. Now, I do wonder if there will be some uh, extra DLC where we get to kill, kill more copper back, maybe in future updates or the next game. Who knows? Anyway, uh, after the conversation here, we can't just go back to the fridge. We need to go to the fridge, interact with a piece of paper on the fridge, and he's going to be all like, oh my god. Let's go home! And then all you gotta do is interact with the uh, Bounty 5000 and, uh, well, start the DLC, you bloody legends! Wait a tick. The sender. It's from. Bounty Hunter! We have to get that package! Now! Hey, you better hurry then. Muxlon HQ is a mobile facility. I bet they're stationed on Paroxys for a few cycles if they're delivering packages in this quadrant. I guess I'll just stay uh, uh, punching the package as a new bounty. Uh, that's, the, that's the only way I know how to do this. Get ready, Hunter! Time for our greatest adventure yet! Mine! Knifey's big break! Take us to the Bounty 5K! Balls, balls. <laughs> Those were your real balls being crushed. Yes, sir. Wow. We had to do about 50 takes. Oh, go on. Click on my package. What? That must have been take 39. All right, let's do this. What's our target? Just like a cardboard box or something? Yeah, G.I. Jane. A fucking package. But if I'm right, it's my ticket back to my home world. Let's go. Let's start this DLC, you bloody legend. Knifey.
and welcome to what appears to be the desert in Paroxys. So there are three areas that we are going to discover in Paroxys. Um, there is an achievement as well for finding five locations, but again, we'll leave that till very last because we need to go to these uh, locations anyway. So first of all, you can just go ahead. Again, remember, if you haven't played the game for a while, press up. If you're uh, stuck with the go, press up on the D-pad. Um, you can ask Mr. Slug and he will spit his slug juice all over you, which, you know, might go good on a salad, but not in my face. So, yes, to swap guns, uh, you need to press left or right on the D-pad or hold the Y button so you can uh, flick which one you want. Obviously, left trigger to uh, shoot, right trigger to aim. The A button, of course, to jump and use your jetpack. Uh, down on the D-pad to crouch and something else as well. Um, yes. So... Uh, after the conversation here with Slug Juice, we can then just continue forward and there will be a little ambush. There's going to be a couple of new enemies in here as well. Um, poacher Ants, which are basically just, you know, the, the main, the bottom step, the bottom rung of the ladder enemies. Um, there's Mites, there's also things called Stalactites, which are kind of annoying to kill. Um, but first of all, what you're going to do then is, you can see the... Again, if you press up on the D-pad, you can see where it's going to tell you to go. But as we arrive here... Oh, yeah, the B button to power slide, of course. How could I forget the power slide? But there are a bunch of enemies to kill here. So, you know, do the trick. And remember, uh, most enemies, especially on story mode, will drop uh, some shield and some health. So make sure to grab that as well. So, you know, you do not die. Over before shooting at us, maybe? Are those XT3 we're fighting? Yeah, they're poachers now, like us. Hey, you wanna join too? What? No. Well, I wanna kill you, obviously. Gotta say. I Die, maggots! I mean, ants. I know the difference. Sorry. Sorry! Do you have any cool enemies? Maybe emeralds or power rings? Seriously, what do you have? Oh yes, and some of them can throw a net on you, but uh, all you got to do is click right stick with your knife, and then it's job done. <clears throat> now, when we get Knifey's upgrade later, oh, it's going to be super cool. Anyway, we're going to head to Salt Lake City, and we're going to get one of the, the uh, missable or miscellaneous achievements first of all, and it's for heading to the hospital. Now, um, all we got to do is basically talk to a sick dying slug, so what we need to do is just basically head left here, and the hospital is going to be just on your left. So if you go up to the left now, that's where you'll find it, but for some reason I decided to take the long way up um, and find that the hospital was on our left. There we go, so it's pretty much in the sort of middle, kind of um, tricky to find sometimes, but there we go. So once we have found the hospital, you're gonna get in, there's gonna be one slug, um, one, uh, two of them are shriveled up, so never mind. So you just need to keep pressing the left bumper here, just keep on pressing it, even if he finishes the conversation, Keep pressing it until he asks for all our money, which then we will sadly oblige. But you just, you need to keep pressing it until he says, I am rich. Sounds like a dying moose. The famous bounty hunter, the Make-A-Wish Foundation slug version granted my wish away. <laughs> Thank you, slug version of Make-A-Wish Foundation. All right. Nice town, lots of fun, but we got Guess gonna... what? A real-life celebrity bounty hunter is here to cheer you up. Oh, Joy, I've been lying here in pain for so long. Finally, something good has happened in my life. <laughs> oh, it really hurts to talk. Please, I have one more wish. Anything you want. Th thank you. Uh, I want... All of your pesos. <laughs> Come on, I ain't got much time left here. Please. Well, I don't know if we can just give you all of our money. So, c can I have all your money or, or, or what? Your dying wish, remember? Yeah, sure, whatever. Take our money. Who cares? Oh, dang. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. This, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm finally rich. Uh, 
Happy to help, I guess. Oh, I'm so... And why not give a dying slug his last bit of, uh, you know, not a bad way to die, being rich as hell, but... Um, there you go. So he is dead. We get the achievement give away all your money. Don't worry, though, we will get that money back. So what you got to do, again, is just um, interact with him. Um, so, yep, there we go. Left bumper it again, and then we'll just grab, <coughs> grab our money back. All that money's no good to a dead person, huh? So you might as well spend it and live your life. Although, he was poor for most of his life until we just made his life, and then he died. Right, anyway, so what we'll do, head out, and we'll go back to the sort of grand area. This is the sort of main area of um, Salt Lick City. And then we are going to head all the way to the back and speak to this broski right here. So this is where we're going to get our ball weapon. Oh. Uh, yes, we all know what a sylph is, don't we? Somebody I'd like to flick and talk to all night long. But I'll still teach you Paroxo Squash if you're interested. I'm a pretty good coach. You got something to launch balls with? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe we got something in the lost and found bin. So, do as the sylph master says. Have a look at the, the... I mean, I'd really love to know what's being blurred out there. Um, let's go with the uncensored version. On my OnlyFans. Uh, now, nah, pick up the only ball weapon there. There it is. And it's some bas basically three little titty bum sacks aliens. There we go. And they help chuck a ball in. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, because why the hell not? <laughs> Sorry, it's just the way that the the guy in the middle is sticking his butt right on the other guy's head lying down. It's, it's got to be a smelly occasion, that one. So anyway, um, we're obviously just going to go through the tutorial of how to use the ball. So you can just press the right trigger to fire it. You can press the left trigger. If you hold the left trigger, uh, that charges it up and explodes it brilliantly, as you can see. So the longer you charge, and then you've got to press the right trigger at the same time. And then what you can also do is deflect it as well. So if you just keep spamming the right button a couple of times, um, you can obviously smash it down an even bit quicker. Now we will be coming back here later on to grab a collectible and you've got to get a 2000 in this score, which is a bit annoying, but you know, I got it after 10 minutes. So, and you're probably a better gamer than me, so you'll get it. So yeah, just keep, again, just keep spamming the right trigger. And then it'll explode, and you can see you get more points when you explode a lot, etc. So yeah, not much to it, but it is easy to um, yeah, could just easy to use, easy to use your own balls. Try taking ball out for a real spin. Play ball! So yeah, obviously don't worry about getting the 2000 just yet. We will be coming back a little bit later on. But we've got the ball weapon. And now we're going to go and get a couple of um, miscellaneous ach uh, achievements. So the easiest way that I found to do this. Now, bear in mind though that the achievements, just like in the main game, can bug out and they can stop tracking for whatever reason it's happened to me. It happened to me on three achievements. Um, but anyway, when we get here at the entrance of Salt Lake City, what we're going to do is turn to the left. Now you can see two rocks just in the distance. They kind of look like they've got edges on them. The closer you go, they look like kissing snails, which is cute. 
But basically, uh, once we power slide our way down here, you can just see a zip line in the distance. Now, when you get here, sometimes there's basically three types of enemies that might appear. A warp base, some of those poacher ants, or the ones that we need to get this achievement really quickly are these mites. So if you get to this point and the mites haven't appeared yet, that's fine. Just reset the checkpoint and you will start here. And then just um, go forward and see if the mites turn up. And again, if they don't, just keep resetting the checkpoint until you get the mites. Now, the also the other things, what you need to do is hit them with a fully charged ball shot. And again, always just double check, make sure they're going up. As you can see, um, my progression went up quickly. So you need to charge it up a little bit and you've got to hit them in the face. So if you hit it on the ground and they die, that doesn't count. So you've got to charge it up a bit with the left trigger, of course. Right trigger to shoot and make sure that it hits them on the face. Um, again, I got two for the price of one there in the explosion, but the two doesn't count. Because I didn't hit the one in the foosballs. So that is the best way that you need to get those kills. And as you can see, my tracker was already having problems. But there's basically three large waves of these mites that appear here. And that, and this is honestly the best... Uh, this is the best way to get it. You can get this done in literally five minutes. You probably have to reset the checkpoint if you run out of mites, of course. But you will get more or less 100 pretty much effectively and straight away. So just keep on smashing until the achievement unlocks. Now, even if the tracker stops updating, um, it's probably worth to do it just one more time or whenever you think that you're comfortable enough that you got 100, because what I've done then, later on uh, through the game, I've done a hard reset and the two achievements, which have which didn't unlock for me first, um, unlocked for me. So, yeah. So it's probably worth doing a hard reset again. Hopefully, Squanch uh, gets off this Squanch and uh, <laughs> sorts that out, the whole... Tracker, tracker stop updating, um, but hopefully you won't run into many issues. So again, after about three or four reset checkpoints, I think I managed, I think it was some poacher ants and something else, but this is where the mites should turn up. So if nothing turns up again, reset the checkpoint and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So once you get the ball achievement, or if you don't, but you think you've got more than 100 kills, Go to Harper. Harper is the new gun replacing Kenny because, of course, you know, well, we all know, we all know why Kenny's been replaced. Um, now, what you need to do is just press the right bumper. If you hold the right bumper, as you can see, she does like a slow-mo thing so you can aim better. And you basically just got to kill 50 enemies. 50 enemies with Harper's glob shot. Glob, glob, glob. Now, this you can get in literally a minute or two. For me, this is where the first achievement uh, achievement tracker stopped updating, which is not a pain in the ass at all, is it? <laughs> no, of course it's not. I love not having my stuff progressed. Um, but yeah, so you should get way more than 50. So if, like me, you've had the problem with the tracker stops updating, if you're confident that you've got, that you've got 50, um, you can just carry on with the rest of the game, or you can either try and hard reset it and come back to it later. Hopefully you don't have to do another playthrough. Or Squanch comes up with the update, as I said. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that I have got 50. Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure I had 50 by now. Um, but obviously, uh, nothing was unlocking, which was annoying. So literally, those two achievements that we've got for the weapons, you could get done in five, six, seven minutes. Um, now, obviously, if you need to get some more Globshot stuff, there is the Gatorall. If you remember the Gatorall. Um, little kind of kind of look like flowery crystals or something you can pick up uh, but as you can see there it's stuck for me and now I've definitely got more than 50 but mine doesn't unlock until a lot later on so anyway once you have done both those achievements or you're confident that you've got 100 with the ball and 50 with Harper's glob shot we can now head it back to Salt Lake City now those green sluggy things right there are gonna come in handy for races um, so basically, every time you hit one when you power slide in, you get a little bit of extra fuel and you get a bit of a boost as well. Who knows green slugs in your mouth were any good? Anyway, here we are then going back to the Lost and Found bit, but this time we're actually going to progress on with the story on. So we're going to get our balls out again. And yes, I'm going to make that joke constantly in this, because why not? So whip your balls out, not Gus's balls, but your balls. And just press the right trigger on two of the open 
It's not gazers, is it? You know what I mean. Two of the open holes, I'll just say. And then get yourself up and go across. Now, I'd already come here, but when you jump here, you're going to get mites and a couple of stalactites to shoot and kill. Stalactites will charge at you and they do uh, quite a bit of damage, so just be careful with them. The way that you kill them is hit them. You can um, basically hit them with a fully charged ball shot as we uh, jump across with the bee. And then just when they're on their backs, then you can hit them with a normal ball shot or any normal gun. And that's how you kill a stalactite. Um, so jumping straight across then again, we press the left bumper. We, we've got the mag boots, of course, from the first game after stealing them off a dead person. Seriously, you gotta be more careful. These are living beings. Anyway, sorry to lecture. Uh, I don't want to be the annoying old fart. I'm one of the so after jumping down then again, whip the ball out and we're going to hit that hole. And then there's one behind us there. So hit those two, jump across. And there's going to be another one to stick your ball in as well. And that'll get the Volcano Erapsoni. Now, obviously, the lava, or whatever it is, as you can tell, is a no-no. So, obviously, you don't want to be sitting in there too long. Because the game forces you out anyway. So, that's why this is how we are making a move. <clears throat> now, uh, going to be a couple of... Well, there's this new enemy with an eyeball in his mouth. And he shoots some stuff at you. But, you know, you're too good for that. Now, there is going to be a... Another fight coming up here, which is going to last a few minutes, so, um, yep, yeah, couple of mites. Again, if you see any mites and you still need to get a couple of kills for the achievements, obviously make sure to do that. If not, kill them all dead as you normally would, and life is grrrr. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm ready to go. Time's up for us. Sweet release. Nailed it! Alright, next round. What's the plan? I get hit. So the stalactite things are cleverly designed, but they are a pain in the old buttonhole, as it were. Right, so once you are confident that you've killed everyone, in fact, you don't even have to kill every, you know, kill the enemies if you don't want, but, you know, why play a first-person shooter game and you don't want to kill anything? So, um, get yourself up on this tower thing right here. Now, what it's going to tell you is uh, you can equip mods for all your weapons. So if you want to do that, go uh, press start, left bumper to inventory, and put... Whatever weapon mods that you want. And then away we go. Now, I do have to give a shout out actually here to Harper the Gun. Now, obviously, when you change a, a main character, sometimes a lot of uh, a lot of people can go, oh, that's just a bit. Ugh. But honestly, Harper doesn't even feel out of place. Great voice, great voice actress and uh, pretty good gun and cute little feathers in the guns here as well. So job done. Right. What we're going to do, by the way, while we are here. <clears throat> The further you go right here, um, next to the water, if you just go next to the water, that is Morris Pond. 
So because I didn't do that, um, at the end of the game, I have to come all the way back out here just to go to Morris Pond. So if you just go towards the water there, um, that should then count as you go into Morris Pond. So when we get the achievement for visiting every location, you don't have to come back here. So before heading to Toxo, who is a giant nude alien in the bath, just have a look at that water and then hopefully that should be good to go. Otherwise, we can just go and we are going to get a missable achievement or miscellaneous achievement here. Big chunky boy. Now that is the kind of six nips that I want in my life. Look at them. That's that is the absolute ultimate, the ultimate chill. Help getting to Muxalon? Oh, baby, I can absolutely help you. No doubt. It'd be my damn pleasure, in fact. You just gotta do me one little favor first. Oh yeah? And what's that? All you gotta do. Join me in this delicious bath and take a freaking load off. Oh, come on, I can tell you're a bit high strung. No offense. Come on. Oh, fuck you. I'm not fucking high strung. No hard man, friend. Just suggesting a nice bath. A little break to recharge. Then I'll help with... Okay, so to get this achievement then, what we need to do is basically we need to stay in this toxic bath until Toxo's... Relaxometer at the top is going to be full and the way you stay alive is just by shooting these parasites um, And then it'll drop off some Yeah, sounds like it hurts, right? So yeah, you basically just need to keep going back and forth. They're going to appear on both his legs Hopefully not on his uh, winky dinky But we can't see it anyway um, So just keep looking out for the parasites that are either again either on both legs or on his belly There we go and this is just what you need to do, and you need to keep doing this until the relaxometer at the top is full. And old Toxo here tells us, well, that feels good. Get out the bath now. Now, if you do manage to die, um, unfortunately, you can't try and redo it. You'll have to start a new game and just get back to this bit again, because the checkpoint puts you in after the, uh, after the toxic bath. But, uh, yeah, we're almost done. So, again, just keep looking out for those parasites. Keep killing dead. Keep giving yourself a little boost. There we go. So when he says that, you should be good to go. Now the achievement again should unlock for you without any problems. Now, as for me, it didn't. And uh, again, you'll see it later on. Uh, unlock with the Harper Globshot achievement. Right, so just uh, decide to smash out some parasites. He's going to ask us to do a, a job for him now. I mean, that is... Uh, that is a belly button and a half. Imagine being swallowed whole by that. Jesus Christ. So, anyway, what we need to do is effectively now go to the left and then go up and around his back and just shoot out all the parasites off his back. Nice. Trust me. It's just this one last quick. Not good. Get out! Come on, just do me a solid and clean those parasites off my back. Wow, where do you go? Yuck, that feels slimy. Hey! Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, God! Oh, that feels nice. Ooh, where'd you learn to shoot like that? Good work, team. Keep it up. I'd help if I wasn't a knife. I really, I really would. I'm not just saying that. So once this is done, just go around to the front and he's going to ask you to clean in another place. And oh my god, why have I only just realized that Michael Cusack voices Knifey. Absolutely love that guy. And David Herman voices Gene. Why has that taken me so long? And obviously all the other voice actors are great, but that's just coming from a personal standpoint. Those two, uh, <laughs> Jenny, I absolutely love them. Ah, just, it's more exciting. So, also, if um, anyone from Squanch Games is watching this and listening to this, how about you, I, I don't want any money for it, but, you know, just uh, put me in your next DLC or your next game. Some additional voices, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You want to do that, don't you? Right, so... Anyway, back to the game. He is going to get us to clean his ass. Now, to clean his ass, we don't have to go underneath, luckily, because can you imagine the stink that is coming from underneath that Gucci area? Uh, we do need to nip around, and basically there's a cave right here. And it's, it's where we're going to get our next miscellaneous achievement as well. So there's the cave just next to his greeny, grubby little Hulk fingers. And just follow the cave until we get in through a door. Now, try to guess and see what uh, what this is parod parodying. Making you way to a cave to So if you guessed that they were parodying the Big Bang Theory, you were wrong. It was Cheers, which is absolutely hilarious. In fact, the cutscene just then was hilarious as well. So this is where the next miscellaneous achievement takes place. So you're gonna get rid of the get rid of the parasites off that pimply bumhole. And now this is gonna take about 10 minutes. There's Frasier. There he is, Kelsey Grammer, just chilling by himself. So, uh, what we need to do now is basically, all these slugs are going to be talking, so they're going to ask you some questions, they're going to want to talk to you, take some shots with them. All you got to do then is just keep doing whatever the slugs tell you to do until the achievement unlocks. Meet Frasier with Frasier. So, yeah, you're literally just um, playing along. But again, this is going to take about 10 minutes, so, you know, enjoy, relax. And, and obviously, uh, you know, all the toxins getting a bit... Um, Get a bit self-conscious of his ass. Which, to be fair, does a big ass, man. I had something good going on. <laughs> Listen, my friend, we just got to do something to cheer you up. All right, Bounty Hunter, why don't you get up on the bar and show us some of those famous joyous dance moves of yours? Bliff, look, the Bounty Hunter's about to dance for you. Hmm, pretty good moves, Bounty Hunter. I gotta say, for the moment, I feel a slight reprieve from my sorrow. <laughs> That's a freaking stuff. That's a freaking home run ball game touchdown. Fuck! Ah! Damn, after all these years, you've still got it, Bounty Hunter. Oh, God. if I left just a little bit early today. Oh, uh, I don't know. Would it be okay if I burned down the bar with everyone we know and love locked inside of it? <laughs> ha ha, Samuel. But really, I've got a hot date. Uh, you have a hot d d d d d d d d date? Who do you have a hot date with? See, Zam, I told you you should have been oiling up if you wanted things to work out with you-know-who. Her. Over there. The, that one, the one you're talking to right now. Cyan. Well, the answer's no. You, you can't leave early just because some random hot slug wants to take you to the salt lick. We're not going to the salt lick, Zam. But there definitely will be some looking tonight. Oh, come on. You're staying for the rest of your shift. That's final. Why don't we ask the bounty hunter? Fine, but they're just going to agree with me. All right, big shot special guest. I'll do whatever you say. Should I let my hot waitress that I'm in love with leave early for a date, or should I make her finish her shift? Come on, pick a side. Stand by me, or stand by her? Thank you. Finally, someone's sane around here. Oh, that was cold, bounty hunter. You son of a bitch. But who had your back during the big baseball episode in season four? Me. That's who. And I got you hella late after that game. But hey, you stuck to your guns, didn't you? And at the end of the day, it's why we all love you. Aww. So, how you doing there, champ? I don't know. <laughs> Doctor says I gotta get some more exercise. <laughs> but how am I supposed to do that and spend eight hours a day at this bar? Well, why don't you just work out while you're here? Yeah, that's a real great idea there, Wally. Maybe I'll... 
take a run around the bar. Or heck, hey, bounty hunter, what if we make it a race around the bar? How's that sound? Want to race me? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I could tell they're down. They want to race bad. Okay, stand by me, and we'll start. Okay, ready to race? Let's do a lap in three, two, one, go! Wow, look at you go! That's a pretty big head start over Bliff. Nah, wrong way. You went the wrong way. Wrong direction. The lap was supposed to be in the other direction, so you lose. Full disqualification. Loser. I'm the winner. Who the heck are they? Why the long face, Frage? Oh, no reason. Why is everyone at my bar always so sad? Does this place make people sad? What am I doing wrong? Is it me? Hey, bounty hunter. Come over here real quick. I've got a great idea. Frazier, don't listen to this. Oh, don't worry, Wally. I can assure you I've never paid attention to a single word out of your mouth. <laughs> Suit yourself. Okay, bounty hunter, here's the plan. We all know I'm a pretty dirty guy, right? Plenty of germs. Well, would you mind crouching next to me for a second? And then you should get all my germs, go over to Frazier, and give him my germs. He hates germs! He's gonna flip the fuck out! <laughs> ah, yeah, there we go. That should be enough germs. Look at you. You're covered in germs. I love it! Take him over to Frazier. <laughs> Take what to me? Um, nothing. Why, am I mistaken? Or have you brought me a batch of disease-ridden germs? <laughs> yes. Yes, you have. Delectable. What a treat. What a delicious, delicious treat. Well, thank you, bounty hunter, and thank you, dear friends. I thought everyone had forgotten that it was my birthday, but this present proves that that was simply not the case. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's why we did this, yeah. Happy birthday, bud. <laughs> All right, everyone. Last call. Finally. This night's felt like an eternity. Oh, come on. I'm not that bad. Uh, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about Gorm's endless prattling. Hey, I got lots to say. <laughs> You'll talk to me, won't you, bounty hunter? Yeah, you will. Come on over here. I just realized you've never introduced me to all your friends. Let me meet them. Oh, hey there. What's your name, little gun? Hey, I'm Harper. It's an honor to meet someone who can drink as much as you. Reminds me of my old war buddies. Uh, we really knew how to get shoisty. Memories. Were you in the military too? No, but my wife says talking to me is like going to war. <laughs> Got any other guns I can meet? Ooh, I like the look of this guy. Wow, that's so kind. I really wish I could say the same thing about you. But you look like shit. And, but that's okay. Some people gotta look like shit so people like me can look good in comparison. And I really appreciate that. I don't know whether to thank you or be insulted. <laughs> okay, who's next? Hey there, lady. Well, hello, big fella. Rawr. Yeah, I didn't expect it either, but I like what you're doing. I like what you're throwing down. Uh, uh, I have a wife. I respect that. But I'm also willing to not respect it if you are. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me think about it. Uh, can, can I meet another gun now, please? You son of a bitch! I told you I never wanted to see your face again! Listen, man, it was ten dollars! Ten dollars! All of this over ten dollars? I'll kill you, you bastard! Switch me out, bounty hunter! Switch to another gun, I'm scared! Thanks. I was getting antsy to meet the next gun. Well, aren't you a bunch of cuties? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yep, when you're right, you're right. Hey, what the fuck? Watch it, pal. That sort of shit isn't cool around here. Well, Bounty Hunter, thanks for introducing me to all your friends. Nice to, you know, meet new people. Especially people who could, you know, shoot me in the head and end my miserable life. So, after you kill old Slugness Regis right here, 
this is where the achievements go into unlock. And what I'm also wondering is, so is this bar stuck to Toxo's ass? Or does he just always sit here and the bar was already here? Because, uh, I don't know. God damn. Anyway, we will be back here later on for a collectible. But again, I'm not grabbing the collectibles on the way. Um, I'm going to do it all in one swoop. So it's, I'm just fine, you know, just in case it's easier that way. But anyway, meet Frasier from Frasier. <clears throat> that one is all Frasiered out. So he's obviously fuming. So we need to go to the front again. And he's going to throw us onto the next island called Duffalo Rancho Relaxo. Problem now. It's just, you know, I've just been so long now. And never come back! Yeah, here we go! Direct flight all the way to my... I mean, hey, you wouldn't be so self-conscious about your ass if you actually wiped more! Anyway, welcome to Duffalo Ranch. So, here we are then. Um, now, it's going to get a bit slightly more confusing, so I'll try and direct you from where to go. We're heading to the left um, here, next to this sort of rock pile with some debris. There's basically another miscellaneous achievement, and this is one collectible that we do have to grab. First of all, um, but again, I'll be uh, revisiting this area anyway later on, so don't worry about it. So what we need to do is just uh, answer the questions. He basically gives us three riddles. You can get choose any answers you want. He's going to get peed off and give us the card collectible anyway. Thanks, brr! Riddle one! What laughs when it's sad? Burns in the cold and falls apart when you put it together. A house. What? No. How could that be it? That, that that doesn't make any sense. That like I don't understand how your mind went there. You know, the first of the riddles three I try to keep pretty straightforward. This is like a level one riddle. You really beef that first riddle. But what kind of riddle master would I be if I didn't have a backup? Let's try an easier riddle. Okay, okay, good. I was embarrassed we got that last one wrong, but we'll get this next one for sure. Riddle two! This one is normally for children, so you should get it. Here we go. I have a giant mouth, but never speak. I have many arms, but no hands. You'll never find me until you stop looking. What am I? A dream? No, no, no. Are you messing with me? Nobody's ever got that one wrong, ever! But the Riddle Master never gives up. I've got one more for you when you're ready. All right, shall we try one final riddle? It's the easiest one yet. A sure thing. You'll get this one. You have to. Let's go. We got this. Final riddle. This one's from the back of a candy wrapper. What has many keys but cannot open any doors? God, please get this right. Gonna say a piano? I, no, that's not correct. <sighs> I'm very sorry. I've never said this before, but you should never do riddles again. Look, I'm just gonna give you the prize. Just fucking take it already. I gotta find something else to do with my life. Sick, we did it. So there are four, uh, nine, sorry, of these cars that we need to collect, and we'll grab them through these Muxalon packages anyway. Make sure to shoot this guy now. So aim down, shoot him, and this is how we get the, it's like Santa Claus achievement. So you need to do the riddles, grab the card, and then give him a little shot to the old uh, slug nugget. And that's how you get the Santa Claus achievement. So we are now the Riddle Master, not the Fiddle Master, and not the um, Spiddle Master. I'm just making crap up now. Right, so now what we're going to do is head to the ranch. So, yeah, there's nine cards to collect, but they're going to be in the Maxalon packages anyway, so you'll get them as long as you're following the video later on, collectibly. So, again, just keep following the way. Basically, we are heading all the way to the Duffalo Ranch. You can probably just see it in the distance there. 
below up close before. Beautiful creatures, wise eyes. All Jewish too. Canonically Jewish creatures actually. Oh brother. Huh? Let's deal with these buffoons. Nice, more guys to fight. Your poaching days are over! Nailed it! Oh, well, mission parameters say we should find who's in charge here. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention the fight. Uh, yep, yeah, so there was a fight, and then, god damn, this is what a duffalo looks like. It's effectively... a ballgina. It's like a... It's like a pagina looking type of... Oh, man, that's like smelling salts ready for deadlifts. Jesus, holy monkeys. Good Problem here today, sir. Oh, hey there, folks. The name's Sam Schnock. You came at a bad time, and hey, wait a minute. You're one of those poachers, aren't you? Just leave me alone. You already roughed up poor Elizabeth here, the runt of the litter. And for what? Just to steal some cargo from her belly? Oh, no, no, no. We're not poachers, sir. We're just looking for a way to get to Muxlon HQ. I don't believe you. You look like a poacher to me. I can smell the blood and violence on you. The duffalo can, too. They can sense that kind of thing. Beautiful creatures. Look, we're not fucking poachers, all right? What if we kill all the real poachers? Would you believe us then? What kind of mind games are you playing at? You really expect me to believe you're gonna go up to your big fancy poacher base on that rock spire over there and kill all your friends? <laughs> yeah, right. You're just as twisted as your leader, that blasted poacher king. Get lost and keep your hands off my prize. Now, let's get away from these smelly pagina nip thing. Pagina nip. Yeah, should have called them pagina nips. Uh, that would have been a more. A uh, better name for him, but there we go. Oh, we've also got a uh, chunkier pagina nip right here. Hello. Hmm. Well, goddamn. Well, I'll leave you to it. Right. So now we are basically going to be doing a lot of fighting, of course, because we need to get rid of the poachers, and there's a lot of poachers. So as soon as we just come over to this area again, there's obviously going to be a lot. So you know, kill them dead, shoot them dead. Make sure to pick up the durability shields as well, or the the things they drop. This is your coach of kings, you got the treaters. So take them out for me. I want them dead. Thank you so much. Ah, here they come! Hey, listen, I'd rather fight intruders than deal with the boss. God, he scares the shit out of me. I've never seen someone who looks like this. So when the first lot are done, what we're going to do is start heading up and um, we're going to use Gus. We're going to get uh, Gus out. So whip him out. Remember to press the R1 button to use his trick shot. And then, of course, you can press the left bumper, of course, to climb up if needed. So again, there's going to be another collectible way high up here, which, again, you can either grab now so you don't have to worry about coming back later or... You can obviously just leave it and follow along with me, completely up to you what you want to do. So get your balls out and shoot them in the holes. Yeah, you've been doing some good ball, ball tricks today. 
There we go. Now that should get the geysers going. There it is. So we need to jump onto the one. Again, obviously, just be careful. And then up onto the other one. And there we go. So press the left bumper to get up. Or you should be able to jetpack yourself up. Either way, um, continue heading upwards. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing these radio calls. Get used to it. Just uh, wanna check in with you about Lizzie. See how you're feeling. I, I know she's been gone for a while, and those rumors. Uh, well, it's it's just not what I expected. Now, this part you try not wanting to get blown down, so just jump over and press the left bumper. Now, what you need to do is press the A but so A button and left bumper quick. So you need to jump and then quick uh, quickly press the left bumper, and then you should be okay just to press LB here. There we go. Now we can just continue on around. Uh, thank you, Gene. David Herman. Oh, David Herman. Right, get your creature out and stick one of his kids in the hole. Okay, thank you, Pseudo. Much appreciato. And then what we need to do then is just make a jump for it. Jetpack again a couple of times over. Left bumper onto the B. And then you should have enough. And you can press the left bumper again to climb yourself up. So there's the one package. So if you want to grab that now, completely up to you. If not, and you'd rather follow along with the video, um, you can do that. But either way, we'll be ca I'll be coming back here later anyway. Now, if you don't manage to get that um, jump up there like I did, uh, just use Gus before you swing on the B. And then when we get here, shoot, shoot. Shooty McGavin shooting. Vulture King again. Everyone doing okay with the fun. Yeah, they just won't stop. Maybe we should, I don't know, post the video online. Oh, about it. They say you should really be having three or four glasses per fight. Okay, so once they're done, we're going to head up a little bit and we're going to use Harper's Glob Shot on this machine. Uh, if you can't manage to do it as I do right here, just jump up onto the top of the machine there and shoot your way in. Thank you, Purple Nutsack. Yeah, you can suck my glab shot, boy. There we go. And then just drop down and keep it. Oh, yeah, lots of... Um of wind in this one right we need to be quick as we can with this one so drop down here just underneath this like crystal cave uh, get ball out hit the one quickly go up to the left and hit this one and then quickly go up follow the wire around and then hit the one at the end here and then that should get the fan going and then that should blast you over to the next island yeah! and then if you need a little bit give yourself uh, hang off the bee and hang off the edge or if you don't need any, just drop down and you're all good. Right, heading up the steps. And there is going to be another fight coming up shortly, so get ready.
Oh man, that fight just kept going on and on, huh? Right, <laughs> well. Anyway, once we're done, we're gonna go up to the very top of this, and then we are going to find the boss, who doesn't actually do anything, but he does give us some poppers, which... If you know what poppers are, yes, that's exactly what we're using them for. If you don't know what poppers are, well, you're about to find out what exactly they are used for. And it's for... hilarious... ish... stuff. Before. They were terrified of me. Thought I looked gross. Let me be their boss if I promise not to kill them. So, what can I do you for? Look, we need you to stop poaching Duffalo. Can you cut that out for us, please? Oh, totally. That's all finished. You have my word. Because, well, you know, you killed all my poachers. But also, I'm just over it. And hey, as an apology, take some of my poppers on the house. Yeah, we use these to loosen up the Duffalo and steal all the cargo Muxalon stuffs inside them. But you can use poppers for other stuff, too. I sure do. Do you want a hot dog? Yep, so once you've grabbed, what we need to do now is, uh, well, let's get out of here now. Um, so press the left bumper on this switch to the right of us. There it is. And then for some reason, I decided to drop down instead of pressing the button. Uh, that's just going to get a zip line going. Scaramouche, scaramouche. Boosh, there we go. And glide all the way down. Happy and free as a bird. Let's head back to the rancher and see what these puppets can do. Oh, hey, you perverts. Looking for somebody else's big fat ass to stare at? Stop, up out of here. Hey there. Gene again. Yeah, just, uh. And then drop down. And then, obviously, straight in front of us there is the farmer. So we're going to speak to the farmer and then, again... We're going to do the whole popper thing. So, again, if you haven't seen them before, well, just get ready. Get ready for the funnest ride of your life. <laughs> you pity? I just have no goddamn clue how to sense Oh, great. Not you again. Don't worry. You're not going to have to deal with any more poachers. We killed them all. Oh, my God. I can smell it. The blood of a hundred poachers. You really turned on your own people and killed them all? For me? We keep telling you we were never poachers. Oh, my God. But we did kill them all, Yam. 
mostly. Their leader turned out to be super nice. Another human, just like our bounty hunter, if you can believe it. Well, that's great news. And Elizabeth here's feeling a lot better, too. Just about ready to send her back to Muxalon. Oh, gosh, thanks so much for all your help, even if you are a filthy poacher. Go ahead and let me know if there's anything I can do to thank you. Yeah, you can do something. Let us climb inside your duffalo. I'm sure. What's that? We found the poppers, bounty hunter. It's time to get dirty. You, here we come. <laughs> She's opening right up. Oh, Jesus Christ! Elizabeth! Look away, Sam. It's best you don't see this. Ugh, this is disgusting. I love it. Ah! Imagine the smell in here. So yes, that's what poppers are used for. They are used for getting high and expanding your anal hole um, by muchly. So uh, yeah, that's where we are right now. We're inside a bunghole right now. Hm, impressive. Right, we are going to be coming up to another miscellaneous achievement, and there are specific dialogue options that we need to hit or say. Hey there! No, seriously, what the hell? Get the fuck out! Sorry, we kind of need a ride. I'm going on a big adventure to find a missing package from my home world. Y you understand? But, uh, I'm just going on a big adventure to find a missing package. Who gives a fucking shit? Get the hell out of my duffalo. It's mine! You got that? Uh, Alright, this is gonna be a whole thing. How do we handle this team? Get the hell out of my duffalo! And it's basically gonna be all creature, so choose creature. Sorry, I'm distracted by how hot you are. And also, by the way, if you use this on any, um, you know, anyone that you have a crush on, these will go down a treat. Probably. Probably not. But give it a go anyway. Come back to me with the results. It's destroyed whatever part of my brain lets me get all horn dogged up. But I guess it just made my taste so extremely specific that I haven't felt anything down there at all until meeting you just now. <laughs> wow. I'm, uh... Uh, certainly flattered. I mean, you're not so bad yourself. Next up, choose the right option. Uh, when was the last time you had a date? So, uh, when's the last time you went on a date? Oh, well, this is embarrassing. Uh, don't make fun of me, okay? I would never. I've actually never been on a date, <laughs> if you can believe it. Shut up! You shut up! <laughs> I'm serious! I guess I'm just a late bloomer. I don't know. It just never happened. I just, I mean, I, there were times when we were right at the end. Next up, choose the left option, which is, what if we turn this into a date? Okay, call me crazy, but what if we turn this into a date? Oh my God. I mean, <laughs> if you want. I do want. <laughs> well, then let's call it a date. <laughs> <laughs> Can't beat that awkward uh, laughter, can ya? <laughs> anyway, uh, next we'll choose the right option again. Let's skip straight to the banging. Creature is damn smooth. Oh my god, so forward. I mean... My answer is yes, but I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. Okay, great, sick, we're doing this. All right, bounty hunter, can you just lean forward and smash us together a bunch real fast? That might not have even counted. Yeah, plus this might not be the best time to mention it, but I have kids. Ew. Yeah, they're all on my back. You didn't notice them? Oh, I guess not. I'm not really looking for that sort of... Oh, you'd really like them if you just got to know them a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure they're great. I'm just a little too young for kids, so... I understand. Well, it was nice banging you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice banging you too. Nice banging you. So, so yeah, there we go. If you ever wanted to s uh, think of what uh, sex between uh, between a gun and a uh, parasite, well, it's in your image forever. Now, for whatever particular reason, this bit seemed to take like five minutes to carry on. Now, what it might be worth doing is um, getting Sweezy out and just shooting about the place, 
Because eventually, after a while, again, it was about six, seven minutes of just shooting nothing and moving around doing nothing. Then Suto, the big blue ball head, decided to come up and finally give us a torchlight, so thank you for that. Um, but I don't know what the actual trigger is. I was just walking around shooting nothing for six or seven minutes. But anyway, once we are done, we are in Maxalon HQ, by the way. So we're going to climb up right at the back here. Again, slice them if you want. Uh, I don't think they do any damage. And then we can just jump off. Now, we're basically just following uh, more or less a linear path the minute. There is no enemies to concern yourself with until obviously later on. This is dangerous! Muxalon isn't what you think it is! She can't be stopped! Enough! Is my package in here? Huh? What are you talking about? We came here to pick up a package. What? You came here willingly? Oh my god! Yes, it's a very important package. All of my dreams of seeing my family and my home planet are riding on it. So where the fuck is it? Uh, if it's anywhere, it should be here. This is the Miss Packages room. But trust me, you should just forget about it and just leave while you still have the chance. No way. Uh-uh. We didn't come this far for nothing. Let's start tearing up these packages, Bounty Hunter. One of them's got to be mine. Start knifing them. So we've got a tough enemy to beat now. Bunch of boxes. So all you got to do is just uh, keep walking around, stabbing some boxes, until the first instance of Mux, who is basically a female Muck from Pokemon. Yeah, you'll see exactly what I mean now if you remember Muck from the original and best 151 Pokemon. There's too many of them. What are we gonna do? I'm so sorry, but maybe it's for the best. She still has a note. Oh my god, I can't go high. Save yourself. Uh, hello? Stelson? Anyone? I think there's someone. Obviously, those boxes don't count as packages, by the way. Now, this is where we're gonna get our, f our the, the new um, enemy of this particular area. And it's called a bloat. Now, what she basically does, she'll come and attack us out of nowhere, like now. So turn around, and then she gives off this little laser beam, shoots out five of her little sproglets. When she is, basically, when she's been defeated a little later on, we can kill her with our new upgraded knife attack. But for now, Max, yeah, so just keep shooting her, and then you should be good to go. Here is um, the Alola version of Muck, should we call it. I know, pretty cool and random, right? I'm just looking for my long-lost family. It's just a wholesome adventure, I promise. Oh, how sweet. Your family. You know who I am, right? I mean, you must know you're intruding on my facility. Sorry, we just came to pick up a package. I'm Mux, CEO extraordinaire of Muxalon Shipping Company. Do you know why you're dealing with me personally and not one of my millions of pathetic worm-ass employees? Uh, because we trespassed in your facility and started fucking- Because you trespassed in my facility and started fucking up all my packages, yeah. You're pretty sharp, you know that? I could use someone like you. All right, uh, we're sorry, we'll go, we'll go. Can you just please put us down? I can't do that. How are you going to pay all this off if I don't put you to work? Don't worry, we've got a nice benefits plan. Have a free parasite <laughs> on the house. <laughs> oh, hey, you again! 
I guess our talk earlier convinced me to get out of the duffalo and go back to work. It's so funny running into you here, right? <laughs> well, let's do our formal reintroductions. I'm Gary Hellman, and I'll be your managing parasite. How about that? <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't worry, it's only gonna sting a little bit, and then you're gonna feel a sharp pain down your vertebrae, and that's right when most victims start to involuntarily empty their bladders. But then it's fine. No more pain after that. Until I have an hour later, you're gonna feel more pain. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Ah, oh, now this be a shame, lass. Right, so, for, again, for the next five or six minutes or so, what you've got to do is press the left bumper on the left button to um, zip it up. And then press the right, uh, press the left bumper on the right switch to get it going. And again, this is just a whole bunch of dialogue stuff, so you're just going to be doing this again for the next five or six minutes or so. Because, uh, you know, especially those who work in factories, why not play video games and do... More factory stuff. Don't you dare slow down. We're on a very tight schedule. What happened? What the? Are we doing warehouse work? No, you're not. And that's the problem. More work. More work. More work! Oh, I feel sick. Oh my god, thank you. Was that so hard? Idiot. Just do that every time. Oh my god! Oh my god, please help me! They're still using us as drugs! You gotta help me! Oh great, they're trafficking humans! Okay, well now we have to do something. Please, no, don't shoot me out, Baldo! What the fuck? Why would you do that? Hello? Oh my god, what are you doing, you psycho? Don't seal up your own people, freak. Thank you. Great job. Really great job. I mean that. Also, I do have to say, with this Maxilon HQ, it's kind of more of a more on the side of horror and jump scares. And I tell you what, the level design is actually fantastic for this one. Really, really enjoyed the... It's just gone from bright and sunny to dark and moody and, you know, crap, crap your pants slightly. So, to be fair, bravo. Bravos. Right, so, a couple of humans are going to talk. We're going to have to seal these ones up anyway, which is just a damn shame. You must have a lot of experience being a traitor. All right, so you're a monster. Come on! Let's keep that species trainer streak going! Hey, look, I cannot tell you what to do. I can't stop you, but um, I do want you to know. So once you have packaged this guy up, um, when the next one comes, just don't do anything and we'll talk about a toilet break and then we can actually just crack on with the level. So just don't say a word. What is the problem? Oh, if it's a pee thing, I told you, you could just piss in your suit. I truly don't mind. Just piss in your suit. We're not helping you traffic humans. That's an insane thing to ask us to do. What? It's not like you're culpable. You're just doing your job. Enough. We're not here to work or betray anyone's species. We just want my fucking package. And yeah, sure, we'll take this place down and save all the humans, I guess. Come on, let's move. Let's go, Bounty Hunter. Right, well, you heard knifey, let's go. So what we're going to do, we're going to drop down onto this, like, uh, kind of looks like wrinkly, wrinkly, wrinkly nutsack here on the bottom. You know, I mean, men will only get this, but you know when you, like, uh, pull the skin from your testes and you've got that just bit of skin flapping in the wind? Yeah, that's disgusting, but hilarious as well. That's what it looks like, but anyway, Stenson 
is uh, going to be our savior, and we're going to grab the package. That's not true. I control you. I'm your boss. Hey, Stelson, what do you got for us? Oh, I found your package. I mean, if your boss will let you have it. I won't. Oh, my gosh. My package. Oh, thank you, Stelson. You're the best. Come on, Bounty Hunter. Open it up. Do not open up that package. That is a direct order from your superior. Oh, man, Broski, our apparent boss Broski's got a little needy, isn't he? All he did was, <laughs> all he did was bang the bloody th um, bang a gun once, and now he thinks he controls us. Anyway, oh my god, yes, it is real, Michael Cusack. <laughs> so now we can snip through the old ball skin, um, and then yeah, away we go. So knife he's turned into a chainsaw, incredibly. Couple of enemies to kill here, so you know, give them the old chainsaw one two. And then let us wrap and let us continue on. So don't worry about uh, these, you can get some Gatorol, Gatorol if you want. Now, if you press the left bumper, you can start climbing up stuff with the chainsaw incredibly. Now that hurts, but you know, it's all good. Right. Another miscellaneous achievement we're going to get here, so what you're going to do is shoot the crap out of it, the bloat, and then chainsaw it. Now, I'm pretty sure this is unmissable, because I think the only way that you can actually kill these things dead is by chainsawing them at the end to uh, rip them in half, and then it's job done. So that's uh, another one done. So what we need to do now is basically smash up Mux's um, organs. And the way we do that, you can see like this wire or this cable whatever you want to call it you have to find these small little warts that are just chilling on um chilling on max and then go hit them all in order press the left bumper to drop down and that'll smash that organ down oh yeah fuck yeah take that you disgusting omniscient pretty kick ass red red right so we'll turn around now we'll nip down the next ball skin and then in we go, and there's going to be a couple more enemies to kill. Not sure how many because of the whole I forgot numbers thing, but they're attacking me. Kill them now. Oh God, why would you do this to me? It wouldn't hurt to take down Mux in this whole operation while we're here. Save some humans too. Uh, fine, we can kill Mux, but this is mostly still about me. Just again. Okay. Okay. We should be fine as long as we don't attack any more of Mux's organs. The closest one would be in the sorting facility, I think. Just up ahead, I think. Yeah. So don't go in there. Just let's go back to the station. Okay? 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 Oh, fuck. The objective just changed again, didn't it? When I said a few, I actually meant a lot. But once you've taken care of the enemies, again, we need to get rid of the couple of warts that are on Max's body and then hit her with the big boy at the end. So, chainsaw yourself to the beginning. There we go. And then, uh, what you can do as well, you can press the left trigger to break. Uh, so, if you want to do that, you shouldn't need the brakes really, but it's just there in case you need it. Otherwise, keep following along, pop in these warts. Ouch. And then, uh, yeah, into the next bit. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, Mux spawned me in a brood of a thousand parasites. I worked as a manager for a bit. I was, uh, how would you put it? Not performing on par with Mux alarm standards. Sorry. There we go. All good so far, then. So, what we'll do is get Sweezy out, press the right bumper here to slow down the time. 
Now there is a package on the left, but again, we'll be coming back to that later. So we'll head to the right and just go straight through the door. A couple of mites here, and there's going to be a couple more enemies, I think, in this room as well. In fact, there are enemies, but mucks will actually come out of the wall and try to uh, throw you at them. Or tr try to throw them at you. So shoot her hand with the enemies in the hand whenever you see them. And she'll drop them when they're dead. This. Hey, more guys to fight. Let's go. Come on, man. Permission to glob. So, after I stop messing around, apparently, uh, what we're going to do now is actually jam the machine. We can't get through there just yet, so what we need to do is head um, sort of back on ourselves. So, if we turn around from here, there we go. We can. F this is where the machine is, so we need to get our ball creature out. Now, um, now, I tried just putting balls in the top, and it wouldn't go, so what I was just doing was... Uh, shooting a ball in the top one and then shooting a ball in the bottom left one as well and that seemed to get it going and jamming Yeah, man, we jamming Oh boy, I absolutely understand big conveyor belt. Look at that. Uh, you know, what time? Tommy, the parasite I work with, you love this parasite. His host worked in the so much and put too many packages on the belt, clogged the machine, and now he's trying to clog the machine. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Can you stop it? Stop it. Stop! And once that's jammed, what you're gonna do is turn around, and this is the beginning of the warty section. So just stick your chainsaw in, left bumper of course, and then fly, baby, fly. Now, sometimes it can be a bit disorientating. Um when you're trying to go straight up and you need to go to the right and it can get a little confusing. Um but just crack on with this for the time being. Colonel Shipping Log, and I love it a bit about your little homeworld. Cute family you got. What the fuck? Stay out of my business! Maybe I've got to deal with you, I accidentally... So when we drop down, there's going to be a bloat straight away, so just be careful of, obviously, the laser beam. Anytime you see one, just jump up, and then shoot the bowels off it. And Max is going to be doing some more of this stuff, i.e. lots more enemies, and she's going to try and throw you... She's going to come out of her hands, so uh, stick her arms out of her body thing. So kill, kill, kill! That's plenty of organs. She's got plenty of organs left. Okay, go to the administration office now. No organs in there. Just a nice, calm place to focus on work. And I bet you're lost, so you've got no choice but to listen to me.
Whoa! Oh, more enemies! Able to drive the fight. So, uh, I honestly have no idea why I decided to try and jump up onto the big pink thing in the middle. Um, yeah, so I don't know why, but sorry about that. Uh, so all you gotta do is obviously fight your way around, find the beginning, and slice, slice, slice! And again, once we get up here, there's going to be more enemies to kill. This is very, um, killably, killable section. Thanks, Nelson. Kind of busy, though. Oh, Toby, Toby. Ah, more. Sorry to interrupt. Just keep doing what you're doing. I hope you don't mind my watch, though. After all these years, you guys can this like a coward. It's nice to see someone fighting back. You know? It's nice to just sort of, well, remember what you need to do with I always knew that if I hid in the air bench long enough, someone would come and do everything for me. And I was right. You can And now it's just tearing this. So, whatever way you've done it and wherever you're standing, what you need to do then, uh, if you look at the administration office here, if you go to the right, there's going to be a doorway which we can just go through. Um, you're going to jump straight down. That's what we're going to do. Um, there is actually a collectible in here as well that you can grab by plugging up all the toilets. Otherwise, we can just drop straight down. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see this, but I'm glad you did. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 hey, we're right below the admin office. Just right, so we are now below the admin office. So what we're going to do, we are going to head up this piece of pink crack wall right here. Jump up all the way. And then you should be able to just nip it onto the right if you can. There we go. Lots of enemies in here again, so get your guns at the ready and go. Also, um, yeah, what's his face? The one who creature banged is going to ask you some questions and try to distract you. And it's kind of annoying, so... Well, you know. Okay. While you're killing everyone, do you mind just answering a few questions for me so I can get your employee satisfaction review all squared away? All right, I'll try to be quick. First question, are you satisfied with your direct superior's management style? Oh, that's me. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, to answer, just uh, jump for yes or shoot your weapon for no. Oh, wow. So you think I'm a good manager? Really? Oh, I wasn't getting that vibe at all. But I can't tell you what that means to me. Can you let Mox know? Okay, let's move on. Next question on the survey. How satisfied are you with your current payment? Which I'm checking and... It's zero. We don't pay you anything. Are you happy with that? Move around for yes. Stand perfectly still for 30 seconds for no. Okay, great. You love getting paid nothing at all. That's good to know. We'll just go ahead and keep paying you that amount. All right, last survey question. Would you be likely to recommend to a friend that they get a job working here at Lux Alliance Shipping Company? Turn to the left for yes, turn to the left. Oh, fantastic. You'd recommend someone. You know, there's no referral bonus, right? I, I think we can make that clear. A lot of people ask if there's a referral bonus, and I swear to God, it's like they're not even paying attention to me. Okay, that's the whole thing. Oh my God, thank you so much for doing that with me. I know you're in the middle of a busy day, but I just feel like this is really going to help me make up for being attached to the employee that's destroying the whole company. Enemy down! You did it! Oh, sorry, that was uncomfortable. 
so much bloodshed and death. Was it all really necessary? Apparently it was. Right, so once everyone has, um, yeah, once everyone has died, what we're going to do is head to the left side of the room. Effectively, if we uh, started coming out, whatever it was, press the left bumper here to go up the lift. And we're into the turbine room. Now, we're not actually too far away from starting the Mux boss fight. And again, that's another one that lasts about 10 minutes or so. But what we need to do then is get into the fans in order to press the left bumper. It's the left-hand side fan, sorry, we need to get on. So we need to get the chainsaw going up. Hello, David Gene Herman. E. And then we can drop down to the left, if possible. <laughs> if we can. Come in. Come in. There we go. No, no, I screwed up. No, we'll try that again. There we go. Ah, there we go. Right, okay. So we can press the left bumper quickly in order to get into this small part of the room and then just left bumper your way through this particular section. There's going to be another bloat as we drop down here, so be careful. Jump over the laser beam or shoot the crap out of it quickly. And then we can go ahead, if we go to the right now, we can push this button. That'll turn off all the fans. Kube! And it's going to start getting even spookier, sort of. So we're just going to head around and back up the steps in order to get into the next room. Or we're going around the wrong way, apparently. Attention all employees. We are now entering a permanent crunch period. Or I like to call it the video game industry. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We have fun here, don't we? Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, thanks for all the hard work you do, Jason Schreier. So that was me telling you how not to do it, so let's tell you how to do it correctly now. So jump up on the fan, and then glide your way over lovely. There we go, we got there in the end, did we not? Um, there's going to be another couple of enemies here, I believe? No, there's not. Nope, that's during the collectibles later on. So uh, what we need to do then is we'll just follow the cable here, go back around, follow the, follow the beginning, and then get to this point. And then it's going to start getting heavier. Yeah, good job, you legend. That's all of them, right? Ah! Oh, but so this is where the big actual boss fight of Mux is going to begin. So what she's going to do then is obviously get her face out of the big pink bubble balls. No! Uh, what you need to do to get the boss fight to start is actually follow the uh, follow your marker and go into the door. That's when it's going to start. But basically what she's going to do is obviously have loads of enemies that's going to shoot stuff at you. She's going to throw sh stuff at you. There's also going to be other enemies about as well that are obviously going to try and shoot you. So... It's not as bad as it initially looks, um, but it, it is just a case of, obviously, if you could just try and find a little bit of cover. Now, I just try hiding here. Um, it seems to be okay, but for me, the easiest thing was to just keep going left and right and shoot in Max square in the head when she appears. Um, I found it easier to dodge the things that way. And obviously, if you're low on health or whatever, just always keep looking around. Um... She is going to throw some bombs and stuff as well at you, as well as some other stuff. So obviously you've got a couple of snipers there you need to take out quickly. Um, but once you've killed those, and anyone that she decides to throw down, some of them may have uh, health pickups and shields. So obviously always keep make sure to look in. But there's no specific way to kill Mux. There's no easier way or harder way. You've literally just got to, every time she appears, just keep shooting and just keep strafing to avoid the gunfire. Get real deep in here. Mm, I've been dying for a massage. Then allow me to give you a massage to door. 
And if you're wondering, is Max's health going down extremely slowly, even with uh, any particular gun? Uh, yes, she does go down slowly, even on the easiest mode. So, uh, this is sort of a half bit done first, or a quarter bit. So, I think after every quarter, you are able to smash out one of her organs. And then you just go again. So, obviously, with each round, it gets a little bit more frantic. Every time you see the lasers, whatever they are, just jump up all the way as, quick, as far as you can. And you will avoid the lasers. Definitely worth avoiding the lasers because they will take a lot of your health off. And then just shoot your crap out of that head. You know what? That's fine. That's okay. I'm more into seeing red right now. Your red blood that is. Now we're going to go down into the bottom area. This is the final area. And again, it's effectively the same thing here. Obviously, it's a bit smaller, so you just need to be a bit more careful. Um, you can actually shoot uh, creatures' ball, uh, creatures' kids in the holes to get some bees out if you are needing so. It's not particularly necessary, but that's just in case. Because um, And I don't actually know what the um, ball thing does there. I don't know if you can put something on it and it hurts or whatever. Anyway, again, it's the same sort of thing. So you're just strafing from left to right, avoiding the gunfire. Anytime there's any lasers, just jump upwards and then just continue to shoot at Max's head. Don't uh, concentrate on any of the enemies in her hand. Just continuously aim for her head. She will obviously get some um, exploding barrels down. So anytime you see some exploding barrels or the X button appear, just move again from left to right. Basically, don't stand still and shoot the crap out of her head. Disgusting! Think about it. 
trying to get reimbursed for the gas that thing bubbles up, okay? And a fuel bitch! You take away my organs, I take away your PTI! This is it indeed. So once you have done this, there's going to be a big pink. Kind of looks like a dog's rocket. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's gross. Um, and then you're just going to smash your way up. Uh, but yeah, you've effectively done the boss fight now. So congratulations. It seemed to take forever, which indeed it did. And again, you know what? That's genuinely... There's just a lot of this DLC that I really enjoy. And this boss fight, which seemed to last forever... But it didn't get boring quick, it was just, you know, it wasn't overly challenging, it was just the amount of right of annoyance. So, um, yeah, yeah, really, really impressed with all the new characters in this game, in all fairness. Right, so what are you going to do then? You're going to chainsaw the way, you're going to get rid of all the rest of the parasites on here. Her mouth will open, and ta-da, ding-dong, you'll get the achievement for Muxadu about shipping for defeating Alolan Muxadu. Oh, I never thought I'd say it, but I'm tired of killing. 
think I need a vacation. Oh, it takes it out of me. Woo! That really was great work. Seriously, you, you really showed a lot of initiative today. <laughs> I'm gonna put in a good word about getting you promoted. Oh shit, how does any of that work now? Does the company just not exist anymore? Oh god, I, I don't know if I'm built for life outside the corporate landscape. Hey guys! Hey, Stelson! Wow, you really did it! That's so wild! I thought for sure you were gonna die. You, there, Stelson! I need you to be the new CEO, okay? God, please, can you do that for me? I need things back the way they were. Ah, uh, I'm actually not super into doing a lot of work. Don't worry, that's perfect. The CEO doesn't have to do any work. Oh, well, in that case. All right, as new CEO of Muxalon, first order of business, you're promoted, Bounty Hunter. Yay! Second order of business, we've got to let you go, Bounty Hunter. Sorry, layoffs. Yeah? One while lasted. All right, all right, enough! I'm trying to find my home planet here. Does anyone know how to track a package to its sender? One of the computers in here should do the trick, but that is the last time I am helping you. Thanks, mate. You're the best manager I ever had. So for me, um, I basically, it, it was just after this point when we get to <laughs> Knifey's homeworld, turn my Xbox off and then when I came back on, the game just reset itself and this is where I got the uh, two achievements that I didn't unlock earlier. Um, but yeah, what if it is effectively now the end of the game, just a lot of dialogue going on and uh, yeah, some incredibly violent stuff to happen. I'm too excited to sleep, maybe just freeze me. Oh, you know what? Just knock me unconscious. Just hit me in the head really hard. I want to be unconscious. Wow, I can't believe it. We're finally here. My home planet, Australia 2. Wait, it's called Australia 2? Wait, wait, shh, shh. Who's up ahead? Who in Knife's name ordered a package from Muxalon? Visitors run the- How's it going, dickheads? Oh, dear heavens. Guess who's back? Did you miss me? No, 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 it can't be. Oh, not right now. Oh, not today. What are you talking about? What's today? Oh, it's happening. The great sharpening has begun. Let us rise to a new plane. It's the day of the great sharpening, you fool. You're not supposed to be here. You were exiled. I was exiled? Why would I be exiled? You're too violent, Knifey! An aberration of our species. We're meant to be a peace-loving race. We're knives. We weren't meant for violence. Okay, well that's fucking stupid. Nobody told me that. Well, if you didn't want Knifey around, why'd you send him a package? We were just mailing him his old shit. We were trying to be nice and not just throw it away. Yeah, we're leaving this planet behind and we just didn't want to take all his crap with us. He wasn't supposed to follow us all the way here. Wait, so are you saying you don't like me? Of course not! You're a complete psychopath! All you do is stab everyone around you! And you swear constantly? You know you can't go around saying the C word like that, right? You say it a lot, Knifey! You kind of do say it a lot, dude. What oh, it's happening, my liege! We're ascending! And with no time to spare. What? No, please, don't go! Don't leave me behind! You're my family! We're not your fucking family, Knifey! You're a piece of shit and we all fucking hate you! Oh no! Don't let him bring you down to his level, my liege! You need a pure and peaceful soul to ascend to the next plane! This is this all Knifey's fucking fault? Fuck you, you twisted cunt! Oh, you can't say cunt! Shut the fuck up, you reject piece of shit! Oh, fuck. No! My liege! Knifey, you don't need these assholes. If you want a family, look around you. You've already got one. Come on. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. That's right, Knifey. Yeah, Knifey. We love you. We could be your family. Do, do you mean it? Really? Yeah, dude. I mean, sure, you're a little sharp around the edges, but hey, so am I. And it's nice having someone else on the team who isn't afraid to speak their mind. For real. We couldn't do any of this without you, bud. We're contract killers, and you love killing more than the rest of us all combined. Yeah, I am fucking great, aren't I? You know what? Fuck all you peace-loving knights! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Welcome to Knifey's world, you dickhead! 
Well, that's unfortunate then. Knifey is unloved. Can't tell why. Because he is psycho, psycho, psycho. We're going to burn it down like pyro, pyro. So, this is all we're going to do now for the next... Now, this is extremely, extremely violent. Um, Knifey's very pissed off. Great job again by uh, Mr. Cusack on the voice acting. Bloody brilliant. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to start flying through the sky and you're just going to stab everyone and then the credits will roll. And then we can go ahead and just grab the rest of the collectibles. Yay! What fun DLC! Fuck yeah! Mikey, I thought you were banished. Yeah, I was, but now I'm killing you! You're oh, really? No, oh, we worked so hard for! Yeah, well, you fucking deserve it, don't you? Fucking die! Nothing! I'm nearly sane when I'm this whole fucking planet! Oh yeah, the time of Roxas! I hope you're having a good time dying! Ah, ha, ha. Oh, hello! You're not mad about me firing you, are you? You're the one who's fucking fired! Hey, wait! I thought you were gonna hurt old Jiggy Donuts! I'll hurt whoever the fuck I want! Like this ever since we went to his home world and his native people rejected him. Oh, jeez, Knifey. Hey, Knifey. Knifey! Huh? What? You doing okay, bud? Yeah, yeah, I I'm fine. Knifey, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I love you, you psycho. We all do. You got your family right here. R really? Yeah, yeah, really. Don't make me repeat it. Sir, are you saying I can stab you again, maybe? Oh, Christ. Thanks, everyone. I love you guys. I'm going to stab you now, Gene. Get ready. I oh. <laughs> love you too, buddy. Oh. Oh, hey, stop it. That's enough. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not part of the family anymore. Bounty Hunter, go drop this knife for you. Drop Kenny! So, yes, indeedy, Mr. Tweedy. That's the main bit done. I would have loved to have gone uh, through the credits right there, but definitely worth having a look at the credits just to, just for <laughs> Knifey's hilarious voiceover. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's it. So that's the main story done. There are still enemies to kill, but obviously for the most part we'll just be... Going to smash grab the enemies. Uh, uh, the collectibles, sorry. So head to Paroxys. And then to the outskirts first of all. Now, again, to grab the rest of the collectibles, it's going to take roughly just over an hour. That's because mainly with Duffalo Ranch, uh, there's a lot of ground to cover. Not many collectibles, but there's a lot of ground to cover. And of course, there's going to be some times where we do have to fight some enemies and stuff as well. Um, not as much as we actually done in the game, but, you know... Just enough. 
But anyway, once we begin, and then, so basically what I'm going to do, after I get all 18 in the outskirts done, we're going to head back to the portal, to come back through the portal to go to the next one, just to uh, keep it a bit easier if we can. So, first up then, we're going to head down the steps, we're going to take an immediate right, and the first package is right there, so that's going to be 1 out of 18. Again, obviously in the top right corner, you can see how many you've collected, so hopefully you and I will be going together. Now, this isn't one of those annoying cut ones where... Um, you know, I cut straight to the next collectible and you don't know where the hell you're going. I'm going to be taking you through every single one. So again, uh, there's a fight happening there, but we're just going to continue straight on until we find these solar panels. Are these solar panels? They kind of look solar panel-y. Anyway, there's a button here that we are going to use creatures and little kids. Excuse me, get the hell down. And then if we just go uh, follow the cable to where the Jeep is located, or the lorry, or whatever the hell it is. This is where the next package is located. Give that a little chainy chain chain. And there we go. So, right from here then, we'll drop out of the lorry. We're going to go into Salt Lake City now. Salt Lake City. But not actually in it. We're going to just start climbing up to the top. And the package is just behind the main sign. Right, mate, job done. So what we'll do, turn around and we'll just jump, drop straight down to the sort of right-hand side here. Sort of close to the fan straight in front of us. So what we'll do, we're going to get Sweezy out, of course, and then we're going to uh, trick shot it so we can get through. Now, this one is a bit confusing. So what we need to do is get Creature out. You need to pop some of the kids in, you know, about five or six, and then wait until the door opens before hitting Sweezy, before getting Sweezy on it. So what you need to do is wait for the lights above the little door to, to open up. And then as long as one of them gets in, that's how the box gets out. So you just need to wait until the platform starts lowering down, until the lights open up. Then you sweezy, and then you should, you should be okay to go. But that's the next package done. That one did take me a fair few tries to do. So don't worry if you don't get it first time. Right, so drop down. And we're going to go next to this guy. You can talk to him now if you want. He'll give you a card on the house. Or you can just wait till later. Um, I'm just waiting till later, but there is a package in here. So that's the next one complete. Number five already. Well, look at us flying like a sky in the bay. And there's nothing else of any interest in here once we get through the ball skin sack. Um, so from here then, we can just go uh, straight ahead now. And we are going to... We need that uh, little thing to open up right there. So... What we need to do is climb up to this part of the housing and trousen. We need to hit this left, uh, hit this switch again with the left bumper button, and then just drop down one platform. If you can. Yeah, if you can, there we go. Now, you need to chuck one of Creature's kids in there. Make sure that it's actually gone through the, uh, through the pipe. As long as it has, we're good to go. We'll turn around and continue straight up. And then, uh, challenge the champ to a race. Yes, girl. So, uh, head on. We're basically going right at the top here. Or sort of in the middle. Sort of in the middle. Um, go to the right, and then you can see another two pipes. We're going to chuck uh, a kid. One kid in one, and one kid in the other. And that should be enough. And then from here, we'll just go down. And basically go back to the same area that we just were. Where we uh, chucked one of Creature's kids in first. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, head up these little bits of steps, turn to the right, and chuck another two kids, one up and one straight in front of us. There we go, and then what we can do is just turn around. We're going to go up just one platform, and that is where the package is, so that is the next one done. So that's 6 out of 18 now. Right, and then from here we'll drop down, and we're going to challenge the slug to a race. Now, there's three races you've got to do. Two of them in Duffalo Ranch can be kind of tricky, kind of. This one is obviously very easy, so she just challenges us to a ring race. So, uh, what we need to do is press the B button to power slide. And again, all you got to do is just go through the rings. Make sure to hit the green little slug, slimy slug things. Uh, that'll give you more fuel and give you the little speed boost as well. This first one's very easy because you get 14 hours to beat this race. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, slugs need to be faster. Anyway, so again, as soon as it starts, press the B button to go down. 
The rings are always sort of obvious, especially in this first one where they are. Just keep driving. That's how you win that one, and you can get that. You should be able to get that in less than 14 hours. I'm pretty sure you should be okay. Box will open up, and by the way, for the races, the music is utterly one of my most favorite things, <laughs> one of my most favorite parts about the game. Generally, just that music. It was extremely awesome. Right, so from here then, what we'll do, we're gonna jump up one platform, and then we're gonna head up the steps. And then we're going to do a little bit of flying, so fly up and up and up, and you can see the package straight in front of us, and what do we get? Oh, delicious, it's something to do with Will Arnett, I'm kind of blind right now. Uh, so fly over to the next uh, roof, if you want to call it that, and then what we'll do is we're going to go for a little, uh, a little fly, boy. So flying straight ahead, right in front of the building, there we go. And, oh, in fact, I think we will drop down just one. Sorry, I got, <laughs> I did get a little bit of ahead of myself there. We're going to drop down one. That's what we're looking for. And we're basically going to use the glob shot. So, get out Harper's shot of globness. And, well, if it doesn't work, then try, try again. There we go. Once you've tried, tried again, that's the next package. Right, 9 out of 18. 9 to go. So, away we go. Now, this is the pain in the... Uh, button hole one so you need to talk to now what i would highly recommend is before speaking to the guy and um getting the uh round going put press the right bumper to put the bumper down now <clears throat> it's uh, it's kind of luck based with this one but obviously what you want to do for the most part is you want to be putting the right bumper down. Every time that the right your, your right bumper is available, you want to be putting that down, and then hopefully you'll be able to knock out quite a few. So the, the three on the top, always look out for the three on the top. They are worth 250 points. Um, obviously, what you want to be doing, if there's a lot of the small ones, you want to be uh, deflecting them and trying to get them exploding. Um, the ones with the sort of guys, uh, the sort of geyser, geyser, geyser? It is geyser, isn't it? With the smoke in the middle. Once you see smoke in the middle, um, you can uh, shoot that in, and then that'll get the 100 score ones popping up. So, again, it is kind of luck-based, um, purely because sometimes, like, there were so many times that I started off really well, had it in the bag, and then it just didn't appear, didn't happen. Now, five seconds left, and somehow I still managed, I just about managed to get 2080. So, obviously, again, there's not really a mega trick. It depends on which ones obviously pop up. It can be a bit of a pain, but obviously primarily what you want to be doing is trying to get your bumpers down as much as you can and then just shooting it. And, you know, again, this took me six or seven tries and at least 10 minutes to do that one. So once it's done anyway, that'll be the next card collection and then we can just carry on. Um, and we're going to head 
straight through the level again. So we're going to continue going basically to the right. And when we get to about uh, roughly about here then by these rocks, what we're going to do is we'll turn to the left. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Now, these bees, they start moving around just a little bit more. You go from right to left. So, obviously, just be a little bit aware. But what you're going to do then is go up, up onto the water spout, as it were. Grab the next bee and onto the next one. And then you can land on this platform. Get yourself a little bit of a uh, fuel majigging. Once you give yourself a little bit of fuel majigging, go again. So, get onto the bee. Jetpack your way slowly down to the water spout. Give yourself a little boost up. And then you can see the package straight in front of us. So grab onto the bees. And there we go. That's the next package done. Oh, Rooney Rini. Right. So we're going to continue climbing up now. So on to the next water spout. Jump up. Grab the bee. Now for some reason this part took me a few tries. Because they these bees do go from right to left. So try not to waste as much jetpack fuel. Um... But these bees in the next one, they start, this one goes up and down, and then the next go in circles. So just have a little look to the right, grab the next bee, and there we go. We are beat out. So, congratulations. Hit the button. That'll get a zip line down. But before going down, make sure to grab this next package here. There it is. Uh oh, no worries, Knifey. Okay, we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll get on the stabbing in just a little bit. Right. Drop down the zip line. And then just blast it straight forward. Just past all these little bits of rocks and everything like that. And then we are going to go to the right here. Now we're basically going to start the level again, if you wish. So we're up to this part with the mites and stuff. Or well, the mites and stuff were. Uh, grab some, uh, grab some fuel there and shields if you need it. Uh, but jump on this bee. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna jump on the platform. Turn directly around, jump up on the bee again. And then you're gonna go to the top level. So give yourself a little boost up or press the left bumper to get onto the, um, to the edge. And then there's the package right there. So we're on to 13 out of 18. And, uh, yeah, yeah, apparently I got really excited with Knifey's eyeballs right there. <laughs> Right, so, uh, we're not heading towards Deflora Ranch, we're basically going back uh, more towards and in towards Salt Lake City, but we're going to start taking the right-hand side around, rather than in the city itself. There we go, wait for the fuel, and then go ba ba bow ba 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 Skindred. Anybody listen to Skindred? Fantastic band, if you haven't heard them, by the way. Uh, Skindred from Newport. South Wales, not Newport, America, because there's about 12 different Newports in America, isn't there? Uh, anyway, anyway uh, so continue forward. You can already see the next package. It's on top of this little rock, quite close to where we got the um, the weapon achievements earlier on. So that's number 14 out of 18. So when we've done this then, we will continue forward. So effectively, just keep going straight. Now what's going to happen is a warp base is going to be incoming. And there's basically going to be a package on one of those. So, again, you can shoot all these if you want, but, uh, you know, it's not uh, not particularly necessary. Basically, the warp base that we're needing is, it kind of looks like a kind of little tower or something. It looks like a little thing. So, yeah, shoot these bros for now. And, ah, there it is then. It's just appeared on the left. So that's what we're looking for. So, if you just go up into the sort of, uh, me uh, the center, the main sort of center, right at the very top of the steps, that is where you're going to find the next package. So, kill, 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 and then go grab the next package.
And there we go then. So that should be now 15 out of 18. So we'll grab the three next quick ones and then we'll get it to Duffalo Garden. So we're going to drop down and continue on straight towards the, you can see the snail rock, big snail rock on the right. So we'll go past that. Go straight through until we can see the zip line. And then wait for some more fuel and then go again. And obviously you can see the truck right in front of us. That is where the next package is. Come on, let's go fight him. You started this, I think. Right, once that is grabbed, we've only got two left to grab now in the outskirts. So we'll drop down, go straight past all these bros. And then we're going to take a little right here into this little cave-like area. And the next package is directly here. There we go. So one left to grab, so let's go and do it. You're going to have to do a bit of climbing slash chainsawing. So on the left now, what you can see is, the, you know, the pink muck slime. Muck such slime, or whatever I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's where we need to go. So give yourself a little jetpack over. Get yourself all the way to the top. I love climbing challenges. Hey, can you do me a big favor and scream at me and call me a maggot while we do this? It really helped me get into proper headspace. And once you are at the top, we still need to be continuing up the top. So jump up, give yourself a couple of jet jetpack boost fuels. Left bumper to chain yourself, you saw up. Ch chain saw yourself up. Man, these uh, easy words are making me struggle today, apparently. But then again, once we are at the top, then just continue up and you can see the final package there. Now, in order to get to the pole, if you remember, it's basically at the very start. So, what you're going to do, so basically, what I tried doing was actually go into Duffalo um, Ranch from here. Didn't seem to work. So, what you need to do from where we were is effectively just jump down to the right, go past the zip line and everything with the enemies. And uh, there's Mr. Slugman. And then we can head back to the portal. So, this portal should be easy to find, as is the one in Duffalo Ranch. Um, but I do kind of show where to go in the last area in Maxlon HQ because that can be a bit of a pain in the old three ball eyeball nips. So, off the Duffalo Ranch, here we go. So there's 21 to collect, only a couple more, but it does take longer purely because it's just a lot of ground that we got to cover. Literally, it's, yeah, you're doing more traveling than actual collect collecting in this one. Right, so here we go then. Duffalo Ranch it is. So what we're going to do is continue. Uh, we're basically going to go straight. So yeah, if you are looking for where the portal is, it's in this Duffalo Ranch area right at the very big... Basically where we got swallowed up by uh, that popper's butthole. Right, so go slightly left when we get out of the Duffalo Ranch. And then what you're going to see is this uh, little cave. So again, you can ignore the enemies there. That's fine. Now, this is a bit of a timed section. So what you need to do is press the left bumper button here and then you've got to quickly as you can follow the cables so continue straight just continue going straight down now you're going to jump up and then you're going to jump up again and then just again just continue it straight and hopefully you should just have enough time there in order to get in and uh grab this card it should be easy enough you know it may take you uh one or two attempts but that's how you do that one. So we'll just continue straight from where we just grabbed that card. Going through the tunnel. Now the caves can be slightly confusing. Uh, we don't have to use them too much. But they can be slightly confusing when we're trying to grab these um, packages and collectibles. So when we get out anyway, we're going to head slightly, I mean more or less straight in front of us. <laughs> to see where we can find that big old rock. So, how are you enjoying finding these mites? Having a good time? Just checking in. And then what we're going to do by this rock on our right, this is another cave. So we are going to head back down here. Again, it can be a little bit disorientating down here, but I'll try my best to explain exactly where we are. Right, so we'll just drop down. This place seems notable. Obviously, you don't want to get in the water because that's poisony acid. Uh, but you can just jump forward 
and you should be able to um, press the left bumper here in order to cling onto this piece of stuff on the wall. Go a little bit further and then what you can do is have a look down and that is exactly where we need to be going. So just drop straight down, obviously landing on the platforms which would be, which would be a lot handier. And there's the package just underneath this big crystal bridge like thing. But we're not quite done in this area, we've got a little bit of climbing to do now. So, we will uh, effectively now just head back up. So you need to go onto this next platform, take a left. And then we're going to head back up. So jump forward, grab onto the wall. And then we'll do some walking. As long as you don't press the A button to jump off, you'll be fine. So what we're going to do now is, um, if you, there is something for us to grab up there, but for some reason I couldn't quite reach it. So if that's the case, what you're going to do is, where the blue marker is for me, we're going to jump up, we're going to grab this one, and then we can walk slightly a little bit, turn around, and then we can make a break for it forward, and you should have enough momentum in order to get you across. You'll need to jump off and then grab onto the wall on the left again. Or grab the B first and then jump onto the left. There we go. Uh, yes, knifey boy, I know what you mean. Oh, we all have that feeling, don't we? That feeling of depressionness. Uh, so anyway, grab onto this bit of wall. You don't need to be going down. We need to be going up. So apologies about that. So we will head up this little wall. And then what you're going to do... It looks like you can't, but you actually can. Take a little left here, jump up over this little uh, crystal lip or whatever it is. And there is the next package. Ah, oh, lovely stuff. So yeah, bit of a pain, can be slightly confusing, but uh, we don't have to bother with these caves too much after we grab these ones. So we'll just uh, jump straight down and go forward straight in front of us. Can grab the edge, there we go. And then we'll grab this edge. And we will climb up. Yeah, there we go. We're still going. There we go. So continue to climb up then. And then there we go. We're out of it. Finally. Oh my god. It felt like years. And then eventually we can actually get up. There we go. Right. So from here then what we're going to do. We will. Um, now what's always a good good thing to have a look out for is. If you want to get your bearings. Have a look at where Toxo is. Obviously big fat green eye alien guy. And then you sort of know where you're at then. So heading to the left of Toxo through these little tiny little, I don't know, rock pools or something. Uh, again, there is going to be some enemies, of course, but uh, we don't care about them. No, no. So on top of this, there we just grabbed onto the B and there's the next package, number 5 out of 21. Stop shooting me, damn it! So, now we can just drop down and then continue straight on to this skinny rock in front of us and chunky rock on the right. Stick to the battle. And yes, it is race two. Now, a lot of people seem to have a problem with this one. So basically, we're going to do this um, race in two minutes and 30 seconds. Generally, the race isn't too bad. You do go through some crystal caves. Um, but, it's again, it's not too bad. I'll sort of chip in with uh, stuff if needed. But it is the jump at the very end. Now, I think a lot of people thought that you had to glide, me included, uh, with the jetpack. But all you got to do, when you get to the very end, as you hit the last ring with the green slug in it, you just got to press the A button once, and you will glide down to the two rings. But I'll show you what I mean now. So... For now, just keep following the rings. Should be easy enough for the time being. Just enjoy the uh, Pokemon battle music. Power slide
So we're coming up to the jump now. So once we get up here, now when we, again, remember, when we hit the last green slug, press the A button. So press the A button once now. And then you should be able to just glide in. Now, I was a bit off my marker, so I do need to use a little bit of jetpack here, which is fine. But there we go. So if you just press the A button once, you will glide. And then you should be able to jump down. And then grab the last ones here. Now, I'm so confident that I'm literally just walking to the finish line. But there we go. So it was that last jump, which a lot of people had quite a few problems with. But it, it was literally a case of just pressing the A button once just to glide down lovely. Um, so, yep, yeah, there we go. So that is how you do that race. Uh, she's obviously going to be fuming, which, you know, sorry about that. But it's all good. And then we can carry on. So, going the opposite way of old Slugness Regis right there. You can see Toxo in the background. I mean, it's quite difficult to miss Toxo in the background. And um, when we get to this sort of little rock pooly bit, we're going to use Creature's Ball. Pop that one up. And then there's going to be another one right there to the left. And then there's going to be another one to the left of that as well. And I think, yeah, that's it. So, we're going to climb up this rock now. And obviously, it's going to be a bit of water spout and grabbing onto a bee. And there we go. There you are. Pretty as a picture. John Wayne Gacy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, so what we'll do from here, then, we can actually just uh, drop down. So we are going to drop down. So no worries about that one. And again, we're effectively just heading slightly straight. So past these big three rocks. And we are going to start climbing up this one to our left. There we go. So you also have a little clamber up. Uh. Now, if I'm right in thinking, this is the one where there's a couple of stalactites and it's a bit annoying. Slightly. Again, it actually depends sometimes on the enemies that you get. But anyway, chainsaw yourself up. And no, no, I was right. Uh, so basically, the package is going to be on one of these enemies' backs. You might be lucky and just get a whole bunch of mites. Or you might be like me and a bit unlucky where you get a whole bunch of stalactites and one of those eyeball-chewing, bloody-shooting thingy guys. But uh, yeah. So on one of these enemies, anyway, the package will appear. So just shoot that enemy dead and then just climb up on one of the rocks to keep yourself safe for five seconds. Right, sorry about that last bit. Then I just had to give myself a bit of a breather. I was being charged at like hell. So, next up, what we're going to do then, we will, um, if we look, we're basically looking for Toxo, because that's where we're headed. Uh, that's why I'm looking a little bit confused, but he is there. There we go. That's who we're looking for. Hello, my little green balding friend. So, we can just drop down and basically head towards Toxo. In fact, where we're going next is the cave where we got the achievement Frasier meets Frasier. And I was hoping he would fall to his demise, but he didn't. So, yep, if you remember where the cave is, uh, we need to head for Toxo's ass once more. Hey, I, 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 you know, uh, I'm real sorry I got so mad at you before. You know, just for looking at my ass. Uh, I really overreacted. I, I promise I'm going to try to be a little less self-conscious about my ass going forward. Okay. I mean, it is the biggest ass I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. Hey, come on. What? Sorry, it's also the All night. right, everyone, closing up. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. So don't worry, there was, I think, a couple of comments where people said that this was locked. This shouldn't be locked even after you've done this bit the first time. So head to the back, and here is the next package. And obviously, you should, if you've been following the guide, you should have got the Meet Frasier with Frasier achievement, so that should be all good. If not, then, you know, stick around for 10 minutes. Otherwise, off we go again. Oh. 
So when we escape the uh, biggest ass in the universe once again, we'll head to the left and continue basically around to the left. So hit these slugs. There we go. And what we will do, we'll just, we'll just carry on for a second. Go in to the right, just underneath this little cave-like area or cave rock area. Now this can be a bit of a weird pain in the button snatch as well. So you've got to do these, I think in a particular order and quickly as well. So I think you're going to hit the middle one first, then the right one, then the middle one. Uh, sorry, middle, then right, then left, and then middle again. Um, but what can be easier is if you get Sweezy to sort yourself out. So uh, get a bit of trick shot on all three holes. Sweezy knows how to play some holes. And then you're going to quickly put Creature on the first, onto the right, then the left, and then the middle one. And then hopefully that should work. That took me quite a while to figure out. So, again, bravo, um, but we're just heading, obviously, straight across. Now, again, again, it's what I do like about the DLC. It's not just uh, a couple as we climb across the B, and there's the package. It's not just, you know, easily found. There's, like, it's behind minigames, it's behind puzzles. It's It makes you think. It makes you slightly annoyed, especially with that bloody uh, ball game from earlier on. But, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not just... Uh, get some DLC out for the money stuff. This is actually well thought, well made, and it's actually very impressive. I really, really enjoyed this one. So, uh, there we go. We are back over the land of the goodness. So, we'll head to the left now. There we go. So, effectively, so the left and straight a little bit. And, in fact, we're pretty much uh, going to start heading back now to Duffalo Ranch. But we are almost to where we need to be then. So obviously you can see the big massive rock uh, in the sort of background. This is the area that we need. So this little rock. So just climb up to this one and then we'll grab the next package. Nah, my ding dong boys, we got some climbing to do, damn boys. So go straight, and then it's the rock on the right which we're going to need. So we're going to need to be doing some climbing, as I said. So we need to get a bit of gus out. Uh, trick shot gus, and then we'll climb up to the top here. How, how are you enjoying fighting these mites? Having a good time? Just checking in, making sure you're having a good time. Oh, don't make that face. I care about you. That's not so ridiculous, is it? So there we go, that's that one done. Now remember, if you walk straight forward almost into the pond, um, you will effectively have located Morris Pond, which means you don't have to come back here after in order to grab this. So if you haven't done that yet, just go sort of up and down the pond or the lake or whatever until someone says, oh, it's Morris Pond. If not, we can just head straight and go through to the cave. Um, so... We're going to the other side of Duffalo Ranch now, but we basically need to go where we came, but in reverse. So we're still following the cables and everything, but obviously I'll tell you where to go because it can be slightly confusing, as I said. So um, we'll just head its sort of to the left and you can see the cable there. Uh, and then what we'll do is we will jump up, uh, climb down. Don't even think you probably need to do that. And then just keep following the left. Now it might look like you can't go left, but you absolutely can. And then there we go, through the cables, and then we're up, out, and into Duffalo Ranchnos. Or the Sart Range, as it were. Again, warp base may appear. If you want to fight them, fight them. If not, then do no panic about it. So, going past the big archway rock type thing on the, on the right... And we are actually going to be coming up to the third race. Now, this one isn't bad. You've got to do this in 3 minutes and 15 seconds, I believe. Now, I made quite a few mistakes. And there was a couple of times I didn't know where one of the rings were. Which cost me a couple of... Cost me a second or two. So, you can 
um, mess it up, and I still managed to do it first time, even though I messed up quite a few times, as you'll be able to see. Um, now, there's nothing like the big jump or anything as there was at the end of it, so it is literally just a case of smash the rings, 64, and again, you get 3 minutes and 15. <laughs> Literally one and a half seconds to spare, but you can see that I made quite a few mistakes um, I kind of sucked at that race in all fairness, but I still managed to do it with again a second and a half spare So that is going to be the last race anyway, so if you hated the races good news There's none left. So that's the next one now Obviously you would have remembered if you've already followed the guide you will remember that we had to answer the riddles question Grab the box and then shoot him for the achievement. So that one, of course, will already be collected. Uh, so continuing to climb up the debris. Inside is the next package. Now this is going to be number 14 out of 21. Yeah, man, it feels like it's never ending on old Duffo Buffalo Bill, doesn't it? Anyway, once that one is done, now we can continue to the right and effectively head more towards the Duffalo Ranch. Hello, you smelly pajanip friends of mine. Right, so to the left, you can see this little ramp. That's what we're going to go up. There we go. And we'll just jump across. Make sure to jump completely across. And just underneath the... Now, obviously, I'm assuming that you're doing this after the story as well. But just underneath these big chunky monkeys right here is the next button that we're going to push. So from here, what we'll do is just follow the cable around. So it should be straight in front of us. 
and then it should be right in an open doorway. Now, I do think that originally this should be a shutter, which is just on top of the box, and that's why it's not having it. So crouch, crouch and shoot, crouch and stab. Or continue to stab like absolute hell. There we go. Either way, it's all good. All right, so on to the next one then. So we're going to go down the crater, which was effectively doing a 360 and coming straight down. And it's going to be just on top of this door right here. So give that a little smash. It's going to be 16 out of 21. So what we need to do now, you need to get your ball creature out. Um, hit this button and then hit all of the... Uh, hit all of the targets and that'll get the fan going. Right, now we're going to go to the poachers bit next. So, there we go, past the portal. Um, oh, in fact, actually, we're going to grab the zip line. Sorry. So we're going to go up to the zip line. In fact, we are going to go to the poachers bit, but we're going to do it not the way we done it earlier. So we're just going to fly up slightly, grab the zip line. And buried right at the top where we found old Jakey Donuts. To the left of that is the next Muxalon package. 17 out of 21 done. So that's what you should be on as well. Uh, drop down. And then, oh, in fact, actually, we need to go to the left of where we were just now. So I do apologize. I got uh, slightly a bit confused here. But this is where we need to be. Yes. <laughs> so in this little area, there's going to be a bunch of stairs at the back. So we're going to head down these steps. And then we're going to get Big Sweezy out. We're going to, um, in fact, actually, what we're going to do first, a couple of things we've got to do. So first of all, get Harper out, and you're going to do the glob shot. So glob shot that. Then you're going to get Creature. And then you're going to stick one of his kids through the, the hole. One or two. Uh, always two. And then with Sweezy, open up or slow down the test of time. And then we should be good to go. And then what you could do is just fly up to the right of the portal. And the... Package is right in front of us. So there we go. Bang, tidy, brother. Right, so 18 out of 21. Look, we're almost done. Hooray! And then the Maxilon HQ is going to be considerably less time. So uh, don't drop down yet, obviously. We're going to continue walking over to the right. And then we're going to start dropping down. Now, I'm not sure if it's just with certain guns, but every time I did try to drop from this level with Gus and Creature, they just wouldn't do it at all. But Sweezy did do it, so I don't know if that's just part of the game, or I don't know if... I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we drop down, we're going to go straight in front of us, past this container on the left. So we go past that, continue onwards. To the right, and here's the next Maxilon package. There we go, just by this ting of debris nothingness. Right, so what we'll do now, we're going to get Gus out. And obviously, as you can see, just on the right, or just in front of us now, is going to be the next piece of gas. We're going to do some climbing. Be honest, do you hate me? You have to be honest, you can't lie about it. 
Okay, you know what? Never mind. Just forget it. I just decided. So, if you remember, we had to come here as part of the main story earlier on. So, uh, again, if you grab the collectible, that's great. If not, then that's fine because obviously it's still here. But the reason we didn't grab it earlier is because we've still got one more to go and it's still pretty high up. So, we were doing it on the way anyway. So, with Gus, then, give that a little shoot. Uh, obviously straight in front of us, the rocker shoot, and then we're going to fling over with the B. And again, I ran out of uh, fuel the first time I'd done this, so that's why i done that one. And we're going to go, go ahead and grab the last one up here, so... Up we go! Uh, so we'll jump up again. This is obviously where we were doing these lots of fights from earlier on. But we will just continue around the side of the rocky side. And we're going to jump up here. And it's going to be very close. In fact, here it is. There we go. 21 out of 21. That is Duffalo Ranch done. Woohoo! Now, if you remember, we need to go to the Duffalo Ranch. It should still be in the same area as the Duffalo Ranch. Just obviously look out for the big building in the background. This one is the particular one. And then we can head through the portal and finish up the Muxalon HQ pla uh, Plackages Connectables. Let's get the fuck out. Hardware that you press deep into the skull of your pet and you'll learn all their thoughts and they'll speak it to you out loud. Sex. The horny sex. Fuck me. That's just many, one of the many ways that your, your pet can communicate with you. Give me sex. Please don't have sex. So horny. Learn a lot with our pets, especially now that we have this new device. Please. Now, in this one, there are going to be quite a few more enemies to fight in uh, a lot of these areas, i.e. immediately as we start. So give them a little shot, and a little shoot, and a little shot. Ah, and once you've wiped the blood off your face and you have recovered, what you're going to do, there's basically one of... We just need to get on one of these two elevators. As you can see, that one has already gone up. So if you go across the opposite side of the room... Oh, almost. Uh, the opposite side of the room here is one of the elevators. So we'll go ahead and grab that one. So take that one up. Oh, God damn it, stupid ass snappy. Ah, that hurt me. Now you must die. <clears throat> right, anyway... Once we get up to the top, uh, you're going to see these whole bunch of boxes. We're going to climb to the third platform. We're going to chainsaw our way through Ball Skin Sack. And we're going to go ahead, take a left. Uh, just continue straight on. You can't actually go through here. So, yep, yeah, all good. Take a left now. Through the next bit of Ball Skin Sack. And, uh, yeah, it's looking more disgusting. You're going to have to crouch down, but then the package is right there. And as you've seen, that was another collectible card done. So, back into the main area then. So we're going to shoot these two dudes dead. And then we're going to fly across to where they are. And when we drop down, we're going to take a left through these uh, first set of double doors. And again, there will be some potential for quite a few enemies, but we're going to drop straight down. Uh, we're basically heading towards the bottom floor, so we're going to go around. And then the next package is just basically going to be under the steps where we are right now. So if you took a left and went around instead of a right and went around, you can see the package, but I decided to be a bit of a mong and go the wrong, long way. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> so that one's done. So we're on to 2 out of 19 now. Beautiful, beautiful. Right. So now we can head back up the steps, effectively the way we just came. And up to the top, take a left. And we're going to go through the wind turbine type thing. Again, there's going to be a whole few bunch of enemies here. So get them dead and then we can continue. Ah, 
right, so once we've got our composure again, we're going to head down the steps, basically to where we uh, came in through the entrance. We're going to stay on this bottom floor, take a right, and we're going to go through this next bit of uh, cheeky bit of ball skins, eh? There we go, and then we are going to... This is a bit, bit of a puzzle again, so what we need to do is you need to, uh, the left bumper is to go, so what we need to do, the box at the top, you need to get it in the middle, and then press the left, most left bumper, in order for it to get down. Um, but it can be slightly confusing. So when you see it there, then press the middle button when you see it at the top. Press the um, right button. And then quickly press the middle button to get it to stop. Now, if it went a bit too far, that's honestly fine. You'll just have to make it go again. We need it to come to the right-hand side of us. So again, when it gets to the sort of junction or whatever, press the middle button now. And then the left button... And then the middle button again after the right one, and then that is how we get that one. So, yep, may take a minute or two to really understand what the hell's going on, but once you've got it, well, congrats, you're all done. Right, so head through this next room, uh, the access router room, as it were, or access route A, sorry, and then into the duffalo hold. So, again, basically where we've just come from, you're going to go straight through to the next set of double doors. And what we're going to do, top right corner there, we can see uh, the next package. Now, this next part really sort of confused me, and it took me a while to get, get the grips of what's going on. So what we need to do... Uh, yeah, right, thanks, Pseudo, you big poopo. Get out of it. So what we need to do is, is basically go straight in front of us, chainsaw our way up, and we need to find the door. So if we chainsaw our way up now, we need to get on this door. Now... If it's got, there's going to be some mites and some enemies in here. Um, but what I would highly recommend is don't bother fighting those. You can see where the pink box was. So if you're on this area, don't worry about the enemies for now. Just turn around, go into the toilet area. And then what you're going to do is just shoot all of the creature's balls down every broken toilet. And then that'll get the next package up. Now, the reason I said, uh, after you get the package, so the reason I said don't bother uh, with the enemies just yet, purely because I fought them all and then got totally lost and confused. So that's why. But when you enter this door anyway, we're going to take a right and then another right through this small door to grab the sixth out of 19 collectibles. Um, so again, if you just want to fight everyone now, that's fine. Just kill them all dead. Uh, but we do need to go through to the administration office on the right. So again, if you don't worry, if you don't want to bother, you will have to do some fighting in, in the admin office regardless. So, you know, jump, jump. Kill streak. And once again, once they're all taken care of, uh, we're going to be doing another little sort of puzzle mini game. So grab the beast straight up, and then what you're going to do is, uh, well, we are trying to get up on that platform. So we'll try it again. And if not, and you're having problems like me, jump up and eventually you'll be able to get on one of them. There we go. Right, so what we're looking for then, so you need to go to the opposite side of the platform. So you need to be, you do need to be fast with this one. It's not so bad. It's honestly, it's not so bad, but you do need to be fast. So hit the button and then you're going to need to power slide. We're going to, so we're going to go to the right and then we're right again. Glob shot, right, left. You might have to jump over. That's fine. Straight glob shot and then quickly get there. That's, uh, yep, that's how you get that package. So sorry, I do, I should have said get Harper because you need your glob shot out. But this is the Zenikow. Now, that Zenikow looks like it's having a hell of a good time. Um, so, yes, rather quick with that one. But, yeah, that's so that's how you do it. You're basically just following the path and then all good. So, drop down and then we're going to follow this uh, happy-looking door type thing. Sort of. Uh, going through to the right. Now, what we need to do is get Creature's Ball out. Press the button and then smash your way through. That one is obviously considerably easier. But that is number 8 out of 19. So that little mini game there is, again, easier, but it's, yep, something we have to do. So once you got that done, again, apologies there that I was uh, telling you what to change it to quite late. That's my bad. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is head up the lift. This is the same lift where we um, took it, what we took in the main story. And again, more dudes are going to be shooting, so shooting dude, plus a bloaty bloat. Right, so once the dudes have been taken care of, we need to go over. So basically, again, where we were with the story earlier on, we just need to fly up, up and add them. More enemies here, though, so, you know, do what you do. The dumb fart academy. <laughs> Good one, Harper. There we go. Once these smelly things have been dealt with, we're going to have to get creature out. Uh, ball, sorry. And we need to do this in order. So from one to six. So it's bottom left, bottom right. And then it's top right, top left. And then middle right and middle left. And that'll open up the package. So what we can do is just fly over and grab it with relative ease. Almost not ease, but yes, much ease. Right, so we've got 10 left to grab now before we get the achievement. Hooray! And then we just got two little tiny things left to do. And that is the High on Knife DLC done. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to drop down. We're going to go straight through, of course, to the other room. And then we are going to go straight in front of us with the lift and take it back down. Okay, so turn around, head left, so that the left walkway, go all the way down, and then take a left up the little ramp, straight through, and we're going to go basically straight on, take a right, and we are into the main sort of Muxalon central chamber, as it were. So quite a few to grab in here, plus quite a few enemies again, so if you want an easier time, just smash these bras dead. Once again, once you've got your composure back, so we'll just head to the middle here, um, obviously where the main central chamber is, and then just behind this little vehicle or whatever, not down there, but just to the left is the next Muxalon package, so make sure to get that one, that'll be 10 out of 19. Oh, right, and then we can just chainsaw, we're going to chainsaw our way up, and then we're going to drop off at the very top of the roof, there we go, because there is another package there. Quite a few we're going to grab quite quickly in this area, which is always nice. So we, we can drop down. There shouldn't be any more enemies. I think you should be good for now. Uh, but as we drop down then, we're going to take a left down into this uh, cheeky little area. And then what we're going to do is, with Sweezy, shoot the... Uh, sorry, with Ball. No, yeah, with Sweezy, let's slow it down. Slow it down with Sweezy and then get all balls into said holes. And then that should open up the doorway for us and uh, able for us to grab the next package. And that is another human complete. So that's 12 and a 19 done now. So we're getting through it. So head back up, go left. And then pretty quickly is going to be a next one onto the left. Jump up and there is the uh, next one indeed. 13 out of 19. We'll drop down. And then we'll go straight for just a little bit. Because we're going to chainsaw our way up again. And once again, we're going to drop off onto the roof. Again, it can be quite difficult and dark to see sometimes. 
Uh, so if that's the case, just turn your gamma up, turn your, turn your color up or anything, and you should be good. Um, so that's 14 now out of uh, 19, so we can just drop straight down, go through the double doors. And there is the next Maxalon package. So, look at that, four left. Oh, it's always nice when it's in quite quick succession. Huh. Right, so again, take a left. And we are going to open up one of these containers. And in fact, it's going to be this one that's coming up on our right right now. So give the ball skin sack a little slicey dicey. And that's 16 out of 19 done. Another human done. We are the saviors of the goddamn world, dear. Or something or other. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to climb up on this giant nut sack. Or this giant nut butter. Now, uh, make sure you're at the top. So, basically, what we're going to do now, we need to find uh, a hole to get creatures, kids in, so we can get a couple of bees out. Now, to get it going straight, you need to press the right bumper, of course. So, there's one just on top of us there. Uh, as I'm being shot at or something. There is also another one to the right of us. Now, remember, when you aim, press the right bumper, and you'll be able to shoot one of his kids straight into the uh, room, uh, the hole, sorry. Now, for some reason, it took me a while to remember that one. There we go, so you're able to shoot him straight in. That's going to get one of the bees out. And then to the left is the next hole. So give that a little smack and shooting, dog. And then we are, should be good to go. So climb yourself up. And there is the next package. Try that one again. Whatever kind of bloody noise that was. Squealbur. Kind of like even worse Pokemon, no? Uh, but, well, well, let's finish it off. Two left to do. So what we'll do, we are actually going to jump straight back down onto the big hearty purple heart. What you can see is like a pipe now directly in front of us. So we'll drop down to this pipe. And there is a little entrance just underneath us. So that's where we need to be going. Nicely done. Uh, we're going to need to get Sweezy in order to uh, freeze this one down. Head to the left. Remember, we did come here for the main story as well, but... Head to the left, there's 18 out of 19. And then again, we're going to use Sweezy because we're going to go straight in front of us, straight through the door. Ah, oh, man, more of these douchebags! Anyway, once that is done, what we're going to do, we're going to climb up on the platform. We're going to uh, take a left, climb up on more platform. And just continue onwards. It's basically at the very top here. So, again, when we can. There we go. Climb up to this one. We're going to turn turn straight around. And the last Maxalon package is right in front of us. There we go. So that is 19 out of 19 complete. So we should now have 8 out of the 9 cards. The ninth one we will be given to us. And then we've just got to do the seeing all the locations. Which hopefully uh, you would have done the Morris Pond one. Now, when, when you get out of here, um, so it's obviously just heading back down and then go, basically going back on yourself. But for some reason, I got super confused and lost. More enemies will appear, so, you know, you're going to have to kill these dead again, I'm afraid. <laughs> or what we can do, if you just want to drop straight down, head to the right. And then what we're looking for is the platform high above where we can chainsaw ourselves up. So straight in front of us now, this is the one we need. Now, I'm leaving this part in because it was highly bloody confusing as where to go. So uh, go up. Now, I thought I was still getting lost because I was in the employee residence. I was just like, eh, yeah. And then we can just, uh, in the plumbing shaft right here, we can just drop straight down. There we go, through the door into the duffalo hold. And, uh, yeah, that's it. We've we've done it. This is exactly how you get back. So, job done. Once we get to the portal, we're going to head back to Paroxys and back to the outskirts. Hey, everybody. We're great tiny guys. Hey, yeah. small, tiny. I'm tiny. Look at me. One of the tiniest guys on television. Mm -hmm. There used to be other tiny guys on television, but then we said that we want to be on television. They were nowhere near as tiny as us. We're way tinier than they are.
So, last two things we're going to do here. First of all, we can go to the right now, and we're going to see this dude, and we're going to get the card collector achievement. So, just have a little quick conversation with him. Card achievement will be collected after he stops at Yammering. You've already started collecting cards. Here, let me gift you another as a welcome to the gamer community. Wow. Hooray! So as long as you've got all the Muxalon packages, you would get this achievement as well. Now we need to head actually to the right, so ignore where I'm going to the left for now. We actually need to go slightly right. There we go, sorry, that's me just going back on myself now. And then to the right, just in this next bit of pond or whatever it is, this is the tour guide. So I'm not going to take you through the whole bloody conversations because it's a pain, but basically what, what he's going to do, he's going to give you four options. You're going to say, yes, uh, we want to see it. Because we visited these four locations, Harper or whatever gun you have, we'll say, I'm sure we've already been there. So then you can just talk to him again, choose the next option, talk to him again, choose the next option. And the Morris Pond one will come up at the very last. Now, if you did manage to already um, go by the lakes and visit Morris Pond, the achievement, of course, will unlock. There's the four options. We need to do all four of those anyway. So hopefully you would have got the Morris Pond one, so that one will unlock. If not, unfortunately, like I have to, uh, you have to go and visit Morris Pond and then come all the way back to the bloody tour guide and then the achievement will finally unlock. Gander, take this postcard to show you the way. Mm, I think we've been there already. Hey, we went and checked out... I guess this is Morris Pond.
So yeah, a couple of um, uninteresting minutes or a couple of minutes that I could have easily just not done by actually going to the pond in the first place. But that is how you get that one. So once this is done, you will get the achievement and the DLC will be complete once again. And there it is. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I really hope you enjoyed the DLC in the game. And I really hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you to everyone who interacts with me on the daily as well. Again, thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big ol' love nuts.